Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 123 of the Terminus Podcast. I am your dispatcher, Ellis, otherwise known as Train Man or the Admiral. I'm trying to make a switch over, like, to the Admiral instead of Train Man. It's more unique. Anyway, uh, the Admiral with me... Conductor. Yes, Dispatcher Admiral. Uh, with me, my yeah. engineers are Jacob Durbin and Nick Christensen, and our fireman this week is Jared Cole. Hello, hello, our hello. Our Bregman, for the first time ever, which is amazing considering how for how long he's followed the podcast, and basically everything else I've done, uh, is East Rail. Thank you for finally being around to come on. I mean, not thank you necessarily, but <laughs> I'm glad you could finally do it. Hello. Yeah. Hello. 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 All right. Anyway, before we get to this long-awaited moment of you being on our poor podcast, uh, the train will terminate at the station. At the station. <laughs> All right, this week we're in the back in the wonderful world of Gary's Mod with Dean, and he's logging into a server to do some oh, things. Oh, uh, damn it. We have no idea what he's going to do. <laughs> I have no idea. We don't know what he's doing because he hasn't actually gotten into the server yet, so we're just looking at the thing, like, waiting. He could uh, be going to Sunset wait, Gulch. He could wait, be going to the wait, desert with the horse wait. with no name. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Felt good to get wait, out of the rain. Wait. Yeah. Wait. 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 Anyway, oh, no. when it rains, it pours. And it certainly poured for two railroads. And it definitely poured on June 6th, for whatever reason. Uh, but we'll start with CSX, who on the 28th of May, they derailed a train. They described it as multiple cars fell off the track. So that's definitely a derailment. Uh, this was in Wellington, Ohio. Oh my Ooh, god, I wouldn't yeah. call that fell off the track. Holy mackerel. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of damage. That's, yeah. And somehow okay. the signal bridge is still standing. Yeah. And the meanwhile, flowers are still standing. Uh, meanwhile, out in Swanton, Ohio. Yeah. Oh, wait, we're not. <laughs> 18. Is, oh, State Route 18 and 58 are closed. Ooh. 10 yeah. to 15 cars derailed. Not sure what caused them to derail. Most of them were filled with produce. Uh, some diesel spilled because it was a whole bunch of reefer cars. Was this the fruit train? No. Because if, if so, I, okay. I, don't think. I hope not, because that would be really sad. Uh, a little while later, CSX derailed again. Holy on crap. June, yeah, on June 3rd. Oh, actually, this is the funny one of the week. So, CSX did a thing. Uh, they dropped an engine in the turntable pit at the Cumberland shops. So, wow, yeah, wow. This, uh, this, uh, I thought, I thought uh, engines falling in turntable pits was um, a thing of the past. Nope, CSX manages to revive the past. <sighs> Good job. Also, CSX. I like how the the banner, which is like yeah, the big the four, tables. be careful. You know, remember things to do. The big Irony four 100. step safety process, literally right in front of the engine that's tipped into the turntable. And I like the first comment right now. That scene looks awfully familiar. <laughs> Unfortunately, it really is. His test. His yeah. test. Okay, and then three days later, on June 6th, like I said, that's when things really started to go crazy. We had three derailments on the same day, two from Union Pacific, starting with a, uh, a derailment in Williamson County outside Taylor. I don't know what state this is. Oh, Texas. Uh... Freight train derailed, eight cars on a UP train, no one was hurt, no hazardous material, but some cars just fell on their sides. There's a loaded lumber car that's just busted up that you can see in the in the first picture here. Uh, not really sure what happened, but the pictures are taken after they started to clean it up, so you can, I, I don't know, draw conclusions from what you will. It looks like they were maybe backing the train up and things just started coming off. Anyway, um... On the same day, there was another derailment that closed a highway in Iowa. Uh, 
I don't really know much about it other than it was a massive Coltrane derailment. There's just, like, literally it looks like cars got torn apart. Uh... I'd heard that train hit an open switch at 40 miles an hour. Ooh. And, yeah, the engines are off down the embankment. There are... Yeah, somebody's a, a massive fired. pile of God coal dang. with These just some... pieces of metal in it. Okay, we may not have had... Okay, actually, no. This is a pretty sizable number of derailments, yeah. but these are bad derailments, too. A, a lot of them are pretty hefty. At least two of them are pretty crazy. Actually, no, the Dude. last one here, this NS derailment, is is the worst of them all, I think. Uh, it hit a car, and there's actually video of it. Uh, westbound Tahoe. train struck an unoccupied vehicle uh, shortly after 10 p.m. on Thursday. It derailed a set of switches west of the crossing. Uh, engines between the two main tracks, and just containers piled everywhere. Uh, Did you see the pictures from that the NS one? I saw the video. D I was uh, going to say, did you see the pictures where it's like literally 10 feet from somebody's house? No, I like did not. Container? Yeah. Uh, I, the, I there's a video it. of a guy, like some guy went to that property and uh, in the land block production went to the property and filmed. It's four feet from his car. Yeah. Wow. Lucky. Insanely lucky. Lucky dude. Uh, I'm glad the car wasn't occupied, that, the one that got hit. You know, at least people had the sense to get out of the car. It's not like, um... I remember the, a few weeks ago, the person that, that was, like, the parallel business to the train. tracks. Yeah, 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 the, yeah. Yeah, the end business train. Oof. Yeah, you gotta get out of the car. If you're stuck on the tracks, get out of the car. It's not worth your life. Uh... Alright, so... Those are going to be Jeez. under class one mantle responsibility. Naturally, it has not changed. KCS still holds it because they always do, uh, because they never do anything of note, apparently. So that's the class one mantle responsibility. Let's move on. What have we done in the past couple of weeks? Should we talk about the trip first or local I mean, stuff? If you want to talk about the trip a little bit, you can. But I would, I would rather just talk about local stuff. I mean. I'm not sure there's anything else I'm really going to say on the trip until we get everyone together to talk about it, and I, I don't know when that will be. I, I guess I'll just share a couple of photos from it then. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, so thought, thoughts on the trip of a, in, the, in a nutshell. Trip of a lifetime. I'm, Never want to yeah. do it again. So, Never want to do it again. Yeah, I want to do it again. <laughs> I mean, obviously with more, like, planning. No. Yeah. Now, yeah, totally. I mean, <laughs> I think as far as planning, I think as far as planning goes, the trip did okay. It wasn't like we didn't know what we were doing. It, it, it did all right with like one or two exceptions, but I mean, you missed <laughs> your flight. You missed your flight. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I always thought about it. Yeah. Well, the thought problem about wasn't that. planning. The problem was execution. The problem was milky, actually. <laughs> and, and then the problem was everyone except for George and I. But also, the second day, the, the, the well, problem: the airlines run on time. Amtrak yeah. doesn't. I mean, yeah, the, that's true. The, the, I suppose the problem then, if you're talking about that, the problem was people having exams. And I mean, what really can you know? What, what can we do about it? Uh, These might take a little bit to post because they're you know real high res and all that. Yeah, we're, we're some pizza, Uh Yeah. <laughs> The the day the big boy came in odd and he dropped me off at Riverdale Yard, mm -hmm. and he had to go take a Sam sucker. Yeah, <laughs> he didn't even Oof. get to see the big boy. He did, uh, but he didn't he get did. to see it come in. Oh, he he, yeah. he didn't get the well to be undisrupted view that I got. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that sucks. I mean, we got plenty of good views but, of it leaving. But, yeah, that's true. That's true, and. Mm, that's trip. not me. Yeah. Um, yeah. O overall, it was a trip of a lifetime. I'm glad I got to go. I yeah. I want to do another one of these big trips again, just somewhere I mean, different. If uh, if everyone can get their docs in in order, I'm gonna do the voting as soon as I can for the next trip. I need to do that. I'll do that when we're done. Yeah. I I'll, I'll post track. another I'll post another uh, thing in the group when we're done with this, just so I can remind people. Because at some point I'm just gonna have to go and say, "All right, this is what we have." 
Yeah. Can you link the doc again when you do that, please? Ah, uh, to me. You mean the, Wait, the folder what? for it? Ah, uh, yeah. Skype has the image. Of what? Uh, pictures you can upload now. Yeah, at the same time, yeah. Damn. Yeah, okay. it's taken a while with five pictures. Okay, uh... Main thing I want to cover is well, we don't have Y. Well, we don't have Y bolt here, but it, close enough. All right. So on the, on the day, yeah, on the day that I was supposed to uh, head out of town, you know, Ellis Y bolt and I, we decided to go down to the, uh, you know, go real fan the drop mine a little bit. Yeah, that was and fun. We got to, yeah, you know, we pull off under a bridge, uh, in where did we go? Larkspur? Uh, maybe. Something like that. Maybe. Someplace. Yeah, Larkspur. Um, yeah, around Palmer Lake on the joint line. Yeah. So we pull over. I get out. You know, I'm trying to, you know, there's something coming. So I, I back up, try to get a decent shot of it on the bridge. I back up, not really looking. And then I was like, get back, get back, get back. And then he had I literally back, just, just finished a... saying, he had literally just finished saying, you know, you went. You like stepped off the truck into the brush. He's like, "Be careful of snakes." And we look down, and there is a snake <laughs> like six inches from you. Oh yeah, yeah. There's, yeah, there's like a <laughs> like a three or four foot long bull snake just just sitting there. Snake one hundred. Yep. Yeah. So the day became known as Snake one hundred, or at least the incident. Yeah. Snake one hundred. Yeah. Uh, and it's funny because like he recognized it and like started shouting you to get back. You looked down and got the hell out of there. But right yeah. as he said that, right as he was like, be careful of snakes, I looked down, I saw it at your foot, like at your feet, or I saw something, and my mind sort of went, huh, that looks a lot like a snake. <laughs> <laughs> like, that is a snake. <laughs> yeah. And then I both starts yelling. I'm like, oh, crap, yeah, that is a snake, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I was going to follow you, too. Yeah, that. I was. Yeah, I'm glad it didn't. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, uh, one of the photos sent. That's from the. Uh, okay, well, uh, was that on the first or second day where we chased the Zephyr? This was on the second day. Question mark. of Christmas. God damn it! You're not I'm supposed to be on this episode. Now. Okay, well, fine. <laughs> anyway, we're talking about the trip a little bit, just a little bit though. You, you just you just missed uh, yeah. one hundred. He left. Uh, God damn it, Weibold. <laughs> <laughs> so, My computer is oh yeah. dying. Oh yeah, we uh, chased the Zephyr down from where do we go? Cold Creek Canyon. Uh yeah. Yeah, we chased it down from Cold Creek Canyon. I got decent of shooting stuff out of a moving car by the end of the trip. Oh yeah, yeah, you got real good at it. Like to the point where I was like, I don't even need to do this. Like you're our you're our person to do this. Yep. I still need to go through all the like all the photos from the uh, you know from the drive back and like organize them by state. Uh, I might organize by days. Oh yeah, that's how I have that's how I have mine broken up. But uh, like the drive back, I forget where Wyoming ends and Colorado begins. Uh. Yeah, you can just see the the yeah. like. I don't know. It's better. This is, oh, this is such surprised. a good picture of the Zephyr. I mean, with the, I'm, with I'm, the, the I'm heritage like, unit I'm leading. I'm like nothing. With the, with the snow in the background. Like, that was so I mean, awesome. I mean, I mean unedited, that's... I, I don't... Damn it, I don't have the raw picture on here. But, uh, you know, unedited, I, like, all I really did was just make... You know, turn down... I You know, do some adjustments in the lighting so that trees and the hill and the mountain in the background stood out more and you could actually see it mm. and then uh kicked up the colors a little bit i love this i love this picture the, the I, black I'm and white of the the black and white of the yard with elizabeth and the i know the, it, the it, box cars it stuff. literally looks like it's straight out of 18 you know 95 or something that's a really nice picture i like how like, the okay. caboose is Thank stacked you. <laughs> it's the caboose that <laughs> fell from orbit yeah the sad caboose. Sad boosh. Oh, you, had, you have anything to add on the on the Zephyr chase? Um, we, I mean, besides almost dying. Hey, you know, that made it fun. Oh, yeah. you guys almost died. I mean, that too? was awesome. I, I, that was like, yeah. 
That we went, we went full rally car down the oh, side. Yeah, of the right. Oh, yeah, that's right. To oh, catch up. Thank God there wasn't somebody coming the other way. Yeah. yeah. Somebody would have died. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. But, you know. I mean, just to recount some of the stuff when, when it was the three of us. But I, I don't want to focus on too much of the trip stuff. We've got some other stuff to talk about. Or at least, I mean, I do. But, I mean, the chip bag... Did we talk about the chip bag exploding last time? Uh, <laughs> did we? I, I'm not sure. I, I don't think we did. I probably told the story a hundred times, but I might not have told it on the podcast. So we, of course, before we sit out on our eight-hour... Well, nine-hour, ten-hour adventure with stops, I guess, uh, from Golden to uh, Ogden, we stopped and, and grabbed a bunch of snacks. It was actually the night before. We stocked up on snacks... We piled them all in one giant tote bag, and they put we put them in my lap, and then we left. Uh, you became Commissar Snack. I was Commissar Snack, which somehow led down the road to us talking like pirates for like three days. But <laughs> yar, uh, I you you give correct. it the pirates booty. Yeah, well, I had I was holding all the booty. Uh, I still need to make the blooper reel. Yeah. Yeah. Well, see, see, that is why the blooper reel, being what it is. It makes me want a dash cam, and I just yes. want I want a dash cam for for the trip for like doing a time lapse of the driving, and I want one that's facing us with a microphone so that we never miss a stupid thing, mm. uh, so that if we have a moment like the you know foamer, then we can go back and get that footage and put it in a, yeah. in a blooper reel or whatever. I was forgetting about the foamer thing. That, that was, was good. next that was trip. Great. Next that, trip, the, whatever it is, we are getting a freaking dash cam. Yeah, that the Washington Street thing. Yeah, you, know, you can't oh, take God. a left turn here. And the, <laughs> turn left. The, turn left on Washington. I, okay. I, I have. I have that. I have that. You have that, but you don't have. You don't have the. Um, I mean, the the bag exploding or the. Were you holding the map upside down? Were you holding the map upside down? <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> I was holding the map upside down. Gosh, I, was just, I was just quiet, and you're going, Were ye? Now <laughs> 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 the points at the sun. That means the sun is rising in the north. Wait, uh, sun's right. But uh? we, we got all this all these things, and one of the things that I got was a giant bag of Ud salt vinegar chips, because I love those things. I haven't had them in a while, or I hadn't had them in a while. And the thing to know is that they're manufactured, they're bagged in Pennsylvania, very close to sea level. So we're driving over whatever pass we, we went over right outside of Golden. Loveland Pass, or the Loveland beginnings pass. of Loveland yeah. Pass. And I noticed, like, hey, look, the bag is puffing up. That's kind of funny. And we just stop, we get gas, but whatever. It, it sort of goes out of my mind. Miles down the road, like an hour, an hour and a half later. Right, right outside the uh, Eisenhower Tunnel. Right, it was like right after we come out of the tunnel. Uh, no, it was right before the tunnel. Oh, was it? Was okay. We were at the ski resort. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah it was before. I remember I was talking about Loveland Ski Resort as it happened. Yeah, and we're just talking, talking, talking. Bang! <laughs> right in my lap, the bag explodes. The top pops open. <laughs> like, uh, and it didn't even, like, thankfully it didn't go everywhere. It just, like, popped the top as if you had opened it to get chips. And yeah, I was and like, then the truck smelled like salt and pepper. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It so good. <laughs> it released this cloud of snack food. Uh, the only downside was it released the salt and vinegar like right in my face, <laughs> which smelled nice, but it was like my eyes. Uh, it, just, <laughs> it probably, oh, it probably stung. Just a little bit. Uh, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean that was one of the funniest parts of that journey. Uh, and then also, I mean, we had a great time at the museum, just walking around, looking at everything. Uh, at the Colorado River Museum, I mean. Yeah. And, yeah, Jader took a whole ton of great pictures. We got to go in in 50 and in B8. And, uh, and everything that was open. And everything that wasn't unlocked, units. and even some things that were. Uh, yeah, that was, that, was, that was really cool. Yeah. So and, I just wish the, we'd got up in the F units. Yeah. Oh well, it was always next time, I guess. They're not going anywhere. Nope. That's for very, sure. Very literally. I don't know if I have anything to do with it. <laughs> 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 Forehead. Hashtag save coal. 
not if Adam's County has anything to do with it. Uh, and then, oh yeah, we, we, take we did the Forney the Museum as well. We did the Forney Museum, and unbeknownst to me, we saw the model of the the Shelby Cobra from 200 miles an hour. Yeah, I showed, uh, my, I showed my friend that the other day. He loved it. I have just These been... Pipes. Every once in a while, I just listen to it again. I don't know why. It's just like, I just start cracking up about something, I'm like, alright, time to listen to it. Uh, hold on. <laughs> it's like, Dual uh, lightning bolt. It, it, it's stunning. But, Come on, do what yeah, no, that was fantastic. And, I mean, at least we got to see, uh, like, we got the in-depth explanation of how uh, number four works. Number four. Or, or wait, was it? Is it number four? Or is it? A, am I thinking of the wrong engine? The other diesel, the one that's a pain in the butt to start. Was that? Oh, fifty. Fifty. Oh yeah, sorry. 50. Oh, so the other fifty. Yeah, you start, okay. You start this thing. Start yeah, thing. you have to start the and pony motor, start which the starts the starter motor, which then starts the actual engine. Uh, ah, yeah. it's it's awful, and just the your description of how it is to run that thing, awful. Yeah, it's uh, oh, it's boy. not going to run the sixtieth. We're going to do a parade of everything on property that runs, and it is not included. It's not included. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Well. What if I charter it and put a magnet on it? That's just something well, I told, one to one. <laughs> I told you guys the reason. It's not It's not because it's such a pain in the ass to start, really. It's because the clutch gets hot really easy. Yeah. And sometimes you can't release the clutch. You can't get it to stop. Yeah. Yep. Which that's, uh, you know. So, okay, so it's like Yellow Thunder at work. It doesn't have any brakes. No brakes. Uh. Yeah, so the Forney Museum was fantastic between the di- the the uh, diecast or the model car collection and like the actual car collection. Yeah, and it also. I'm surprised they have like a lot of '90s stuff in there that you wouldn't think would be in a museum. They had some cool the stuff. Car, the car that was on. What was the descriptor? Uh, oh gosh, I don't remember. We had a lot of them. There was a lot of fat cat mobiles. Yeah. No, it was it was a car that like you know some guy that's good at embezzle that knows the meaning of the word embezzlement drove that. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> and there was also the 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 uh, Mercury wagon that's freaking that got the, the wood sides. Truckster. And I was like, yeah, I was like, I like it's a truckster. I love those. Oh wait, uh. Well, was it the Florida Museum where we discovered the freaking, uh... Yeah, was that at the Florida Museum where we discovered all the models of Jeeps? Jeeps! Was that? Was that? Models of Jeeps? No, 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 no. It was either the Florida Museum or the car museum out in Utah. And then we went to that junkyard to go... You know, around that, the was junkyard junkyard rail fan. that was Utah. That was Utah. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Jeeps, where we found we we drove by a junkyard in Utah briefly, or went rail fanning next to one that had a yeah. Jeepster in it. Yeah. It's yeah. I took a couple pictures of that junkyard. I love it. I, I did too. Uh, that was when we were really short on trains for rail fanning. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, just, right. just, I'm just posting one less photo from this bike, and then I'm done with the trip. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm also done with the trip. It oh, came well, up in my background <laughs> slideshow. I'm just like, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I got a flex. It's a really yeah, good nice. picture. It is. That I is. love it. If I could Photoshop out the, uh, the the crowd uh, and caboose. The, well, not not the no. I'd keep the crowd. But the, the camera. camera thing. The... Yeah. Now, were the Jupiter and 119 were they actually wood burning? Uh, the Jupiter they were burning their proper fuels. The Jupiters were yes. burning. The 119 is coal burning. And they get the coal from Helper, Utah. Yes, as we do. now know. Yeah, thanks, Weibold, for asking that. What? I mean, I don't know why I don't know why we need to ridicule him on it. No I, thought it was, yeah. I thought it was great. Not only is it something that we need the information or it could be useful, it's a good icebreaker. Yeah. Hey, baby, where do you get your coal? 
I, I should have gone up great to the icebreaker. Super Duke crew and top, gone. Top ten best. Where'd you get your lines. wood from? I like Where'd you get your wood from? No one railroaders. They would have turned around to you and gone from trees. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a little red bubble to boost in between them. Yeah. Yeah, that was part of the stitch, musical. The stitch ship. Mm. Yeah. I love the musical. The good. musical was good. As yes. someone who doesn't like musicals, I liked the musical. Uh, Didn't you guys? Uh, on, they need to put it on iTunes or something. Yes. I, yep. I thought I heard somebody say Doyle was there. Yeah. Yep. Yes. It They're, was just casual. We're just in line to check out, and then Milky, you know, Milky's like, "Was that Doyle? That was Doyle." <laughs> yeah, I know. He's just standing there. He's with all the camera people. He's just yeah. like there. Yeah. And then we were. Uh, you should have said so. You should have gone and said hi. <laughs> I should have gone and said you're chum. <laughs> <laughs> no. now, now that that's how you make, that's how you make somebody happened. hate you without even introducing Wh- wh- yourself. Whips out the camera as <laughs> Ellen so says, "Hey, I'm going to say you're chum." You're, to yeah. I'm going to say the c word. Hey, Doyle, you're chum. <laughs> you're chum. Him on the shoulder, he turns around. Hello, you're chum. <laughs> We saw all three locomotives that they had at the Spike site. Yeah, all three locomotives. Oh yeah, they had a little diesel. We yes. might or we some people may or may not have climbed on the diesel. Don't tell Chris. Yeah, don't tell Chris. Yeah, don't tell Chris who climbed all over twenty one twenty four at Steamtown. Yeah. Just don't climb on shit. It's not a playground. <laughs> Stuff. Sorry. It's it's yeah. Nice. Uh, yes. But, uh, oh, hey. speaking speaking of two locomotives opposing one another... Oh, no. We're not there yet. <laughs> it, was too, it was too good of a segue. <laughs> anyway, uh, just, for, just so you know, for Locomotive Versus this week, we're doing the PRR three-cylinder duplex thing. No. As one of them. So fucking... <laughs> it's so bad. It's... I read the whole write-up on it on Steam Locomotive. It's so bad. Uh, anyway, it's, it's what else dangerous. have we done in the past couple of weeks? I actually had a great time at the museum. model railroad. I actually had a great time at the PN today, because so I have I have Ella and Lee. They live there. They're on two bridges that go over the track and don't connect to anything, and they each have their own little consists. Uh, Ella has basically egg liners, but you know, not heavyweight egg oh, liners. Little, basically, the little Oscar Piker things. They, yeah. they no, they're well, they're custom made. Somebody took one of our heavyweights that was lighted up for Providence Northern and like cut it down to size. I uh, saw this heavyweight in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's adorable. Uh, and so they're with Ella because faster to train, whatever. Uh, and then Lee has four mine carts and a bobber caboose. Uh, <laughs> so Bobber. Bobber. I yeah. I keep them around and I keep them there, ex- or specifically so that. If a kid comes in and wants to run something, I'll be like, "Yeah, come over here. You can pick one of these two. Because I know nobody's going to complain about it, and they really, they really won't get much like exercise otherwise. In mm. fact, one of the guys, one of the older guys at the club, he's like, "Are you just going to leave those there all the time? Whatever. They're just sitting there collecting dust." And I was like, "I run them like every week when kids come around." And he's like, "Oh, okay. I didn't know because they're always back at the same spot." I also had the T1 there the past couple of weeks, and. Uh, Man, that that thing got some got some props, got some kudos because it pulls the whole coal drag on its own. <laughs> uh, I was like, I'm gonna pull the whole coal drag with one steam engine, and the diesel guys are like, Yeah, right. No, you're not. And then I did it, and they're like, All right, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and Weird like, flex, but okay. Yeah. Does that have rubber tires? I bet it has rubber tires. I was like, it's Still one engine. <laughs> Wait, what engine is it? The T1, my duplex. Oh. Uh, yeah. Chung. His it's, Johnson. It's, it's heavy. Bandage. Yeah, my Johnson. It's heavy. Uh, and it has rubber tires, and it will pull the whole oh, thing. Oh, boy. <laughs> I love it. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's that's pretty much my experience at the PN. Okay. Although, uh, like a week ago, I think it was a week ago. Yeah. No, it was two weeks ago, and I think I might have talked about it in the podcast. I just, you know, we had some vigorous political discussion. Okay. Uh, that was that was fun. Always fun talking yeah. talking about that stuff with the Marvel Railroad. Always, yep. Uh, and actually, last week I had TJ there. So that's fun too. Hey. And then I trapped in my house for a while while I played on the UMR, <laughs> which I finally downloaded the whole damn thing. Uh, yeah, and 
Uh, I, I mean, it's fun, I guess. It's really big. It's, uh... Yeah. It's the sort of thing where I'm, I'm really getting used to it, and I, I wish there was some sort of big guide, because I don't know where to send certain commodities. Every single town on the map has a grain elevator, and I don't know where to send all this grain that I've picked up now. <laughs> so, if you assemble a 500-car monster train, <laughs> and then... Take but then where does it go? I don't know, to hell, maybe. Okay. <laughs> so through Moffat Tunnel? Yeah, basically. <laughs> We're like anyway. 12 helper units on it, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Bye, hobos. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hobo. Hobo waits. Yeah. Uh, hobo waits. Hobo, uh, hobo strikes. Anyway. I don't, know I, I don't know what else I did. Off of that. I, I just, uh, I just uh, you know, I take the train to work sometimes. That's another thing that happens. Apparently, TJ caught the Providence and Worcester switching in Pawtucket on their, like, almost street running. And, uh, like, he, he didn't even do it on purpose. <laughs> so, so mad. I'm so jealous. Oh, boy. Because I always, I always want to see that, and I never get to. Because I'm always, like, at work. Anyway. Yeah, I know the feeling. Anyway, what have you guys been doing? Uh, I was up at the museum today and, um, I think a few weeks ago, and I got a tri speeder around <laughs> with our weed spraying cart, which was an interesting experience, uh, riding behind. Weed. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a speeder. Hold on, wait. Yeah, I see your air conditioning on wheels. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where's and the then, weed uh, dude, the... that speeder honestly Wave. looks like one of those little camper trailers. That's what I thought it oh, was. Oh, there's the weed sprayer <laughs> cart. Yeah, it does. It looks like an airstream yeah. trailer almost. <laughs> there's the weed. <laughs> so cart. cute. It's adorable. Yeah. I love what, what's it. The, it, it what's that behind it in in the first picture? Is it like a office? Um, no, it's a kitchen, bathroom, and work room. Oh, so it's a, it's a. It's a mobile. They brick. they use this. They used it for um, repairing the flume on the dam. Oh, <laughs> well, that's cool. So instead what? of having, uh, <laughs> yeah, they okay. had it on top of the flume. <laughs> I mean, okay. I mean, why not? I get hold my beer type railroad. <laughs> and this CSX aspect, comes crashing uh, through. Yeah, the speeder <laughs> was built in the 1910s. Looks mind. like a Winnebago. Yeah, yeah, that's, a, yeah. That's, what, that's what that's what that's what TBA said. Yeah. He's like, it looks like a camper trailer. It does. <laughs> totally does. <laughs> it's kind of cute though. Yeah, it is. I love it's it. adorable. Then we oh, got. Do you fit in that? Oh, I guess you do. Yeah, yeah, I do. There's a picture of you in it. You fit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Anyway, but it's a fun little thing to operate. Top speed of five miles per hour. <laughs> Uh, I like the little weed sprayer cart. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> That's useful. I could use one of those. Can yeah. I borrow that? Uh, nah. Can I borrow it? <laughs> I need to spray some weeds, man. <laughs> it poison man. ivy all over the back. And uh, we got a new exhibit. And a part of it is this 1890s uh, Portland Tracks and Air Whistle. I really want to make two replicas. So. <laughs> Wee! Boo, yeah. Wee. The Valley Railroad wants to know Valley, your location. That's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanos wants to know your location. Oh my god. Hey, breaking news as of six hours ago. Whoa. Uh -oh. Actually, I'll, I'll just get you into the proper section. I don't need to talk about it now. It's just in my neck of the woods. Oh boy. Dear. So, Milky wasn't the only person driving trains uh, hey. the past few weeks. I was able to drive two foot at my local air museum. Ah, cool. Granted, where, where? it wasn't qualified. It was pneumatics, but still two foot. And Where's you also drove stuff. stuff. That is really yes, cool. and I also took some pictures of stuff the Gold Coast Red Museum is uh, unfortunately having to sell off. Oh, like uh, one thirteen and the E eight, which really... is it Sorry. is ex Pennsylvania Railroad. Is it? Oh, the E8 is. Yeah. Oh, okay, Wait, yeah. It's illegal. I just want to say, 
I do not like F units or E units that have the ditch lights right there. I think they look dumb. I think they look Ask fine. The Where else would you put them? The FRA wants to know your location. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, what you no, need no, to do no. is make the, make the number boards flash. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I got the ultimate. Marker lights flash on the cheeks. No. Uh, you gotta install yeah. a thyroid on it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And then you can bypass the FRA. Will, will that be... Is that an actual, like, alternative? Um, uh, yeah, sure. I think for if we open up, it's works. built before a certain date. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, but you can't well, just slap a gyro yeah. light on a new <laughs> locomotive. I think yeah. like forty-five Slaps or something like that. Slaps I mean, a gyro light on a jeep. Although Chirax, well, we can get into a debate on this, but I think Chirax is more effective than the X. Thanks, my mind. Would the T1 <laughs> need ditch lights? No. Uh, actually, Ugh. it's interesting okay. you mentioned that because there's an FAQ of that on the on the thing, and I don't think so. I'd Good. hope not. That would look dumb. <laughs> I'm sure you could get it to look not awful. It would look weird. That's for sure. I, you could I get headlights out of a Mazda or something for it, so kind of a stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah but you put a chiroite on the T1. Not a, a chiroite. <laughs> <just, laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Except like an SD9, it just makes it worse. CBQ would like a CB and Q would like a word with you. Also the SP. If the T1 needs ditch <laughs> lights, the SP. If the T1 needs ditch lights, they should make them like flip out headlights out of the, <laughs> out of the <laughs> like <laughs> like the freaking lights in a like a, you know like, like the a Mazda Miata or something. Up down, up down, up down, up yeah, down. <laughs> except instead of up and down, they flip out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> by the way, cool. by the way, it actually is. Question number 17 on the T1 Trust's FAQ. There are no plans to equip 5550 with ditch lights because FRA regulation for steam locomotives have no specific requirements for ditch lights. Good. Uh, unless you're Ross Rowland, I guess. Uh, What's Amtrak think of that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I love telling people that story. Lord. Union Pacific, to avoid having to equip ditch lights on its locomotive, has bought a thousand big boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's how anyway. Union Pacific goes under. Anyway, did I, I? I mentioned last last time about getting to work on Texas high speed rail, didn't I? Uh, did I on the podcast? I know I mentioned it to people. Uh, um, I I think you did. The, I think I did. Texas I think I did. One? Uh, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, because I didn't, I didn't actually update this from last time. So, all right, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm all set. Then what else have we got? Uh, Hawking Valley. Uh, yeah, I'll just cover my stuff real fast. Uh, so Hawking Valley Steam. Uh, Maybe Steam. I, I went down to the railroad today. We had three out pulling our, uh, our twelve o'clock and two thirty trips, and I left. You know, I left. I had stuff to take care of at home, mainly this. Uh, but I left before we uh, before we got three and uh, seven oh one back on our robbery train. First of four robbery trains tonight. We did say bang. As far as, <laughs> as, far as I know, it went as far as I know it went well. I haven't talked to him, talked to anybody that was uh, working the train yet. But yeah, we we had, you know we had a pretty good turnout today. Uh, three ran three ran really well. Sounded nice and healthy. They got the timing. I think they got the timing fixed over the winter, so it sounds a lot better. That's good. Yeah. How, is Only, the leak? How are the leaks? They, they got that all fixed. Oh, good. Only, <laughs> like, issue we encountered today was one of the one of the bearings on the tender truck was a little hot coming back. But other than that, nothing nothing too bad. Mile post. Oh, Hot box oh, defect. detected. See, I've started to do the PA Even. announcing. I really want to do that what's a mile post thing. Like, if I make my own... Yes! Script, I'm, I'm putting what? It's a mile post! <laughs> yes, let it spread. I mean, let that. it take I mean, at over. We mentioned... Spread. It's like the well. Oh, I mean, yeah, at some point, we it. mention, you know, as we get to mile post, whatever, we've come the farthest, farthest point west. I want to mention, you know, you may be asking yourself, you may be asking yourselves, what's a mile post? Do well... <laughs> You go, what? It's a mile post. You, you need to put everything into it. Like, it's, <laughs> you know. Like uh, it's it's yep. your all. 
One of these days I'll probably make my own script for it, but uh, where's my yes. art seat? Just don't try to do a southern accent, please. But I'm not going to do that. <laughs> that Spare they always them. can't maintain their waxing proof. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You'll kill me. But yeah, I tried to be artsy when we ra- when we ran it around the train mm-hmm. with the uh, window in the in the back of the coach. Nice. <laughs> Let me pull up one of those pictures because they're good it, pictures. It's so happy. It's yeah, except it's like the grimace of a serial killer. <laughs> it's, it's way too happy. Twenty doesn't have a smile. Twenty has a scowl. Well, yeah. She's like the she has like the Bert unibrow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just grumpy. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Hockey Valley is it's going great. 2019 is going to be a good year for us. Uh, uh, same with ORM. Our 2019 season, 2019 season's off to a great start. Uh, we've been. Do- I'm going to you know see the progress on it tomorrow. But we've been doing uh, a little bit of cosmetic work on 578, mainly painting, and trying to get the cab open up for display again, so people can actually go in there and. If we had Jake Miller here, he could elaborate elaborate on it more. Okay. But he's been trying, you know, trying to get like the throttle and the brake levers to actually work. Oh, cool! <laughs> yeah, don't hurt I, it. I actually, uh, East Rail, you mentioned two foot. I really want to go visit. I, I want to go and learn how to drive the Model T rail bus at the WWF. Like they had the, <laughs> they had the. Um, the thing you could climb in at the 40 Museum, and it just made me want to, like, go back and, and visit and learn how to drive that thing. Yeah. Because yeah. it's so cool. It's so yeah. cool. Two foot's fun to drive. Yeah. It's, it's all Two foot's just of, fun, period. Yeah, it's, yeah. All the, it's all the fun of standard gauge rail with much lower Parts. consequences if you screw up. Yeah. <laughs> Truth or consequences. Yeah. <laughs> Elephant feud. <laughs> I love you, Guesser. Anyway, I so I also that? actually just to go back to to go back to to me Ooh. for a second because I can talk about something. I am annoyed at trains oh. and the AI, and my trolley is not working right, and Ooh. I'm gonna like start exploring other methods of getting them to do what I want them to do, which also might make my life a lot easier instead of having to put thousands and thousands of commands. Maybe I only need to put like a few hundred commands. Uh, which would be legitimately awesome. It would be a massive improvement. I but, need to go and watch the under construction because I still haven't. <laughs> I, I actually had recently, I had a really great under construction where I got a ton done. And then I was sort of at a loss for what to do after that because I felt like I did everything I had to do. But I made <laughs> my first real farm field, I think. Or mm-hmm. the first in a, in a while. The Yay. largest one I've definitely made. Good. Uh, in Mason's Landing. Mason's Landing. Good. And, it's I mean, it's one of many. And I started marking out, I put barbed wire fences along the edges of where the, the hey. cow pastures are going to be for the, uh, for the creameries. And, yeah. I, and also connected them with roads and stuff. Like, it's been, I, I'm start, I'm finally starting to give some love to the area between Mason's Landing and the swamp. So, like, I need to fill in that area with texture and junk. Yeah. yeah. that's That's been my train's adventure. Okay, well, mine has been all to be short. Uh, I haven't really worked too much on my route other than the summer mill that I added about five miles to the west of the town of Sweet Home, which I showed off last time. Krause. <laughs> And I drove traders route the crowd. Oh yeah, the Matapoiset Railway. Yeah. Hashtag done. Hashtag done. <laughs> last week was it last week? I forget what day it was. Yeah, last week. I like I I've slowly been working on it now that I you know, now that I'm done with you know, mostly done with school for the summer. Yeah. All you know, all I had left was just the uh, junction town at the end of the line. Mm-hmm. And I just kind of threw that together, and it got to the point where, okay, it's good enough, and my computer can't handle much more. 
<laughs> Tane runs like Oof. shit. Time to get 2019. Yeah. With my, as soon as I can spare forty dollars on a game, I'm, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna buy it. Yeah. I. And then start I still need to install it ever. because oh my god. Milky, you showing off the just the screenshot of doing driver and surveyor at the same time. Yeah, it makes me so oh. happy. Oh, I I need to share that screenshot. Yeah, that was incredible. Wait, 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 wait! It, Step back a second. Yep. Huh. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Driver yep. and surveyor at the same time. Yep. I'm very confused. Uh, yeah. You can yeah, in transfer nineteen. You can have driver and surveyor running in at the, the same time. Beta. And I and was excited beta. about the new camera uh, that they were giving us. Oh, Wait, you know, man, what? what? I feel what like it? they're doing that so that, uh, hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah. Yeah. Help, help, you know, multiplayer surveyor, please, so that... Yeah, so that everything's please. merged together and there's so less of a... People can drive around the route while people are building on said route. Oh, that would be dope. That yeah, that please. Would be uh, really see, I mean, I'm really just excited for it because it means that I can have the AI testing things while yeah. I'm building them. Mm. Now they okay, just need so to uh, allow third-party content. Yeah, that's true as well. <laughs> yeah, give, 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 give. I'm, yeah. I'm personally, I think I'm waiting for multiplayer surveyor to come out to even think about getting 2019. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Yeah. That's, I mean, I got fair. it just because I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get it anyway. Because, admittedly, I like don't play trains anymore. <laughs> yeah. I got it because you I got wax and over the beta. <laughs> that was yeah, sick. no, it looked really good, but then I... It is got... really good, in fairness. It just doesn't <laughs> yeah, have it. multiplayer surveyor. And which is all what, it's what... That's what we're all hoping for. Yeah. Yeah. Gib, gib, gib. Gib, gib, gib. I need to organize another, uh, another, uh, whatchamacallit? Root build comp? Root, not, not a root build competition, but one of the ones where we sit down and we plan. Yeah. Yes. Just, just for fun. Because I want to do that again. Now that I have, like, the, the tools that I wanted, <coughs> uh, or the tool that I made for, for doing that, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I want to do that Milky, again. Is that is that Jeep included with the base yeah. game? Really? Yeah, it is. Uh, there's a whole bunch of JR stuff included with Dry 19. Excellent. I, I forgot to throw in the, the kind with the about. I was building it as my train was doing that two miles per hour. That's all. Oh, you were friggin' Wallace and Gromiting the yes. track in front of the train? That's amazing. <laughs> I, I, I had, I had like, probably about ten tiles laid out of track, and then had the train go in the, at two miles per hour and built around the track. I want to mess around with that. I want to mess around with that. I want to, like, delete track underneath the train. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Or, like, bend the, the spline. You're trying to make trains crash is what you're doing. You're, you're <laughs> yeah. just, like, taunting gonna, the N3V gods. He's to trying to make the physics crash. I'm going to turn into the Danny of... Yeah. You're just going to make physics explode. Yeah. My, it's just going to, like, my computer's going to start smoking because of it. Yep. Oh, so I see we're in Cherry the Box cars in the second screen. I, I saw. I saw the yeah. province of Worcester Box cars. Disgusting in here. I had an epic problem with one of those today, actually. Oh, boy. Uh, somebody was driving a train around and they lost half of it because there wasn't a spring in the coupler of one of the, bo of one of the box cars. It happened to be a province Ooh. of Worcester box car. Ooh. I went, oh, hold on. Let me take this into the, you know, the little <laughs> area and give it a spring. I went to pick it up. The shell wasn't glued onto the bottom, and so the shell came up. Uh, like Ooh. away, and the rest of the car stayed there. <laughs> Son of a gun! Jason, send it to the shop. Uh, and I, I went to put it back down, and I had already forgotten. And so I went to put it down, and I grabbed it by the shell, and the bottom just dropped out. <laughs> I did like, a funny uh... today in Derail Valley. <laughs> I was, I was driving up. I had a string of hopper cars, but I didn't see that I had a flat car that I. It was like hiding behind the hopper cars at the end. But I didn't see it until I was going around the corner. I was like, oh, what's that doing there? So I just cut it off the train and let it roll back down the hill. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's going to be great when multiplayer comes around. <laughs> that concept is going to reappear. Oh, yeah, I'm Wham. Wham. Yeah. Uh, that just gave me a great idea for what to build in 19. Oh, no. Tamara's oh, failing yeah. Anaconda Part, like, 6. Getting closer. Oh, no. I don't know what it is. I literally have a fetish for that route. Electric hexaloo. It's not even good. I well, just I just love the concept of it. 
Because you have all three major gauges. Yep. All on this own little... I, I just love the concept of it. I suppose. I mean, you know, go ahead. I don't have the original map for it anymore, or otherwise I would gladly share it. I mean, if if 19 runs better than 10, then this it will does. actually work. Yeah. So how does the... So apparently there's, like, built-in grass when you texture? How, how does that work? Um, it works amazing is how it works. <laughs> I love it. If, if it's really it, difficult if to it. use effectively. Yeah. Is it really? Damn. Well, because it... You know, the grass, you want it to come up kind of the, to the ballast, but it uses the same grid system as the, like, actual terraformer. Oh, yeah. So oh, it's, it's really not very precise. It's a really cool feature, but they just, they need to tighten it up a little bit. It's it's so, a little bit difficult to use effectively right now. Okay, so it'll work for, like, like if you're just doing, like, wide open spaces and you want to Yeah, what I've, what I've been using it for is I'll do a grass spline on either side of the track that is pretty close to it and then do that beyond the grass spline. And that, okay. I, mean, I mean, that, that sounds like I mean, an ideal nice solution, really. Put, yeah, because nice then, then you have it up, it's really nice anywhere. and close to the track with the grass spline, you get the high detail from it, and then as you go further away, you have the grass that is, you know, it's processed by either the GPU or the CPU, the opposite of the one that does the grass splines. <laughs> yeah. And apparently, well, that, 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 that's nice. Yeah. I mean... 19 is just, from what I'm hearing, so much better optimized than... Oh, yeah. It is. Like, it's really yeah, good. It really is. I, that's, that's one of the reasons I can't wait to, to move up to it, and I, I'll get there sooner or later. Anyway. Really, the only reason I'm looking, like, towards upgrading to 2019 is just all the new cameras they're giving us. Like, the Jones Oh, yeah, camera. those are oh, stuck. God, on those. Yeah. Like, what? we're no longer stuck to that compass thing. Yeah. We're not... I'm we're not. not with what we're on about. Actually, oh, yeah. oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I understand what you mean now. I, I took took me a minute to understand what the hell you were talking about. But yes, I get it. What What do you mean? Can you Second elaborate? Second screen time posted. I was flying. <laughs> oh. oh, so you know how? In- yeah. Nice. Okay. Rip. Yeah. It's kind of like how uh, open wheels does it. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you can also change back and forth, and then you can also go to, like, people car. angle to where you're, yeah, or car angle where you're down at the road level. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it's epic. Give me 19, a nice big route, what some of those JR Jeeps and my rail driver, and I'd be set for life. <laughs> Downloads, uh, gets, um, Gus 419 immediately downloads UMR before anything else. Hey man, I have it. <laughs> I would do it. But hopefully, yeah, next, again, when next I move paycheck, up to, Next paycheck, I'm blind 19. When I move up to 19, out, this portion of Tollbrand is going to be done. So you're going to have if you want a, a route with some open spaces, you're going to have 20 miles of VMR, 15 miles of uh, Gilson Eastern, and 7 miles of, uh, of Branch Line. Plus the so, olive branch. Now I gotta so. buy the freaking uh, U3B to be able to play with it. Yeah. Yes. I bought some KNL. I bought KNL for the express purpose of running Jader's route. And <laughs> also because everything was on sale. And it still didn't work because apparently I don't have the tenders, which I definitely do because I bought them. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's weird. Yeah. Something broke. I would anyway. say just place the engines down yourself. I mean, the engines I mean, are there, the tenders aren't. Yeah, let's place the, I don't know, place the tenders on your side, I don't know. Yeah, anyway. It's weird. Uh, Alright, we got anything else before we move yeah, on to that thing that we way. need to do? Uh, I don't. You don't? Well, that means don't. it's time for... Alright, in one corner, we have the Pennsylvania Railroad web compound number 1320 hold on let me open the image in new tab and uh share it over here so everyone knows what the hell i'm talking about god this thing is weird uh and in the other corner we have what do we have uh some some other thing yeah we have the no. Moopack M51260. I don't know no. why we agreed to do this. I, I uh, could not find any pictures of it for whatever reason. Okay. 
Yeah, really? Take that, so take that if you will. Hey. I can't find any pictures of it. Uh, so why are we doing it? I I blame Kavon. Yeah, okay. I do too. I mean, hold on. Let's let me see if we, I can. We find can do another two six zero. No, search is two six zero. Gets gets to it. It was something special about this. I don't remember what it was. I I don't know. Uh, let me see real quick if I can find something. Hold on. What number are these? Uh, oh boy, here we go again. <laughs> Because I found one that's number 152. I don't know if it's one of them. I found 3607. It looks right, old well, as shit, so it might be it. Since, since I'm not listed on the cast for this episode, I think this hobo is going to jump off the train. Okay. Hobo. Hobo, oh, wait. Hobo, goodbye! Also, can you just... Actually, you know what? I'll do it. I'll do it real quick. Uh, that, I'm that... just going to grab the numbers and paste them in the... Chat here, these guys. Later, they, they were numbered from 150 to 169 and eight, uh, 781 to 800, so it's something in that range. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You said, wait, wait, wait. M, you said the M51? You yeah. said 150? Oh, no, 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 no. That's, when, that's when they sold them off to Ms., uh, the Katie, these, my bad. These guys, this is the, these are the M51s, those numbers. Oh, I thought it was one of these dudes. Oh, okay, so 3607, that, that's one of them then. That's one of them. Oh, okay, cool. Not, not, not the thing I just posted. Looks cool, though. Wanna... Hold on. Well, let me open this in new tab, because we do actually have a picture of it. Found it. This dude. Then the south. That dude? 3607. That's 3607? This is 30... Oh, oh, sorry. The <laughs> second thing you posted. The first thing... The second thing hadn't loaded yet. The first thing's interesting looking, too, but... Wait, what uh, the hell is that? I don't know. Uh, Take your entire stock. <laughs> okay, I okay, I see. Now okay, I need so to look put up this over here uh, so that the viewers can see okay. what we're talking about here. Uh, where did it just go? Google Chrome is crashing. Hey, the name is crashing. I seem to have broken it. Chrome machine broke. Chrome machine broke. Chrome machine broke. Where did that other tab go that I just had? It went into cyberspace. Okay, well, I got them pulled up. So, yeet. Oh, there it is. Okay. I found an actual picture of this monstrosity. Of the 1320? Yes. Yeah, there are some other pictures of it. This one's actually, I mean, this is a, a drawing, but it's like the builder's drawing. Or okay, well, I got a happy decent actual Actually, picture. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Send the actual picture of it, because they do exist. Oh, you know, I've got this one. This is kind of weird. Uh, that one's not great. That's not it. Yeah, there. send it, see if it's... Yeah, okay, it's this one. This might be the only picture of it that there is, actually, now that I'm, now that I'm looking at it. But yeah, here we go. This adorable thing. And by adorable, I mean unholy. <laughs> unholy. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure if it's cursed... Or... It's definitely both. I. Uh, why do I feel like this is gonna be a slaughter? Because it is. All right. Uh, who who's gonna who gets to go first? What is your local base ID? Okay, ID? I guess we're just gonna go off of that. Uh, my local base. ID. My local base ID is twenty eight thirty six. Mine is seven okay. seven eighteen. Se Holy cow! Why is it that high? Why is mine so low comparatively? <laughs> Why mine is that mine deserves to be in the fifteen thousands? Yeah. Uh, okay. At the very back. <laughs> yeah, at the very back. All right. So I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Uh, this is gonna be awful. We need to find something that's up comparative to this, not this random mogul that's probably fine. Uh, <laughs> Uh, probably, probably some British. Thing oh, this is going to be awful. All right, what's your driver diameter? That's the only thing I think of that I'm going to win at. Uh, driver diameter yeah. is 50 over 1270. What? Driver oh, uh, 50 inches, 50 inches, 50 inches. 50 inches. Okay. All right, 75 inches. <laughs> Speed. Uh, yeah, because that's the only thing we've got going for it. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, right. Uh, hey. How many low pressure cylinders do you have? 
uh, uh, brain that exists. None. Suck it. <laughs> how, how much high you pressure cylinders do you have, You don't have any low pressure cylinders. You have, sucker? I'm a compound. <laughs> um, high pressure cylinders? No, low pressure cylinders. Lo yeah, I don't have any. Yeah, I know. But you don't have any high pressure. So you're a normal engine. I have two high pressure cylinders. Oh, Every wait, Both of us have two. Bastard. An engine by default has two high pressure cylinders. What do you think I had one high and one low? <laughs> no, I thought you didn't have any high, I thought you were low ball in the You engine. can't only have a low pressure cylinder. Okay. Anyway. Oh, that what's your yeah. what's your weight on drivers? Weight on drivers is seventy nine thousand uh seventy nine thousand two hundred pounds. Sixty six thousand seven hundred pounds. I know where I can win. Who is uh, the builder? All right. Uh, builder is Buyer and Peacock. Burnham, Perry, and Willems come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, you get that point, but ball I, that, supremacy. Doesn't, that doesn't yeah. take the ball away from me. I'm going to keep doing this. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, what is your engine weight? 90,900 pounds. Uh, wait, what? Uh huh? 99,350 pounds. 90, uh, wait, what? What? 9, what? 900 pounds. Alright, this is BS. How does this, like, <laughs> real what? engine, how is it lighter than my thing? What? The engine, what? wait, hold up. To I'm be fair, I literally yeah. have bricks in it. <laughs> 90900. Yep, yeah, well, you won by 9,000 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> How okay, num oh. number belt. One. <laughs> 96. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, Kevon, this is your fault. Okay. <laughs> Firebox area. Firebox area, alright, thanks. This is where the bricks are, for the record. 193 square feet. 110 square feet. Oh, yeah, suck it! Oh. oh boy! <laughs> it's big. Why do I have so much firebox? What is your great area? Uh, twenty-two point six square. God feet. damn it! Twenty point five. Can't win anything. I can't win more than one in a row. All right, you go then. Um, boiler pressure. Oh boy, one seventy-five. One forty-five. Wait, seriously? Oh, uh, oh. Yes. Okay. How do you run an engine at one forty-five? <laughs> Wait, carefully. what year were you built? I was built... 1884. 1888! Yes! Hey, Alex, what's your tender water capacity? Uh, not much, but, you know, <laughs> let's do that. Uh, my tender water capacity is... 2221. Two, two, what? Okay. 3000. 3000, of course. Okay. Yeah, it's 2,221, is, is me. Why is yours so specific? I don't because standards, I don't know. <laughs> it's not even a round number in, in, uh, it's not even a round number in liters. It's 8.41, uh, thousand liters, I guess. Hmm. Alright, you're up, East. Uh, tender fuel capacity. Alright, thanks. Uh... Tender fuel capacity is 4.5 tons. 7.5 tons. Yeah, because you actually have a normal tender. Uh, tractive effort. Oh, I lose. Uh, tractive effort is 11,492 pounds. Seriously? 19,577 yeah. pounds. 11,000 for that? 11,000. 11,000. No, we have, I have four drivers. Wait. Huh? It's, it's an O. It's an O two two O. It is a duplex engine with no trailing truck. Oh. The okay. low pressure. The single low pressure cylinder drives the leading axle. Confusion. It's, uh, it's power, just power bizarre. All right. What's all right? Continue. Uh, power computation. Computation. Power. Robert Lehman seen his power computation. Yes. Ba ba da ba. Thirty five eighty eight. Thirty-two seventy-seven. Wait, seriously? Yes. Oh my god. Why am I winning the weirdest stuff? 
Uh, it's, well, same as above plus super hinder percentage. Thirty-two seventy-seven. Yeah, I knew it. Yay! Give me that. Uh, ooh, not doing that one. Um, oh, not doing that one. Uh, all right, fine. I'm gonna try it. Evaporative heating surface. Evaporative heating surface. Yeah. Uh, one thousand one hundred eighty-one. <gasps> One thousand four hundred fifty-seven. No, you have to be yes. the firebox. Combine heating surface. <laughs> one thousand one hundred eighty-one. That's one thousand four hundred fifty-seven. Because I know you don't have a superheater. If you had a superheater, I swear to God, I was gonna flip this desk. Uh, <laughs> evaporative heating surface divided by cylinder volume. 163.59. Yes! 340 because it's a compound, I get bonus. I get it like double. Um. Okay, um. No, I don't want to. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Uh. Tender loaded weight. Uh, tender loaded weight? 70. Mm -hmm. Uh. Yeah, 70,800 pounds. 57,850 pounds. Hooray for small tender. This and was before the PRR believed in coast to coast. <laughs> Long before. <laughs> uh, okay, then, if, if that's that, uh, what is your total engine and tender weight? Tons. 161,700. 157,200. I love it. I can't see what I'm writing. Okay, um... Uh, minimum weight of rail. Actually, wait, that was a bad decision. Uh, 44 pounds per yard. God damn it. 56 pounds per yard. You have one more axle than I do. I forgot. You fell victim to one of the classic blunders. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, valve gear. Uh, do mm -hmm. you have to bring this up? It's Stevenson. It's the same. Wait, really? God damn it. Oh, yeah. It is Stevenson. Oof. All right. Yeah, I get the ball back. Uh, uh, oh crud. Uh, ratio of driving. No, no, no. Never mind. Abort. Abort. Not doing that. Uh, no, no, I didn't no, finish no, no. saying it. It doesn't abort. count. Uh, okay. Drive a wheelbase. Let me see. Oh. What, what was the question? Driver wheelbase. Driver wheelbase. Uh, driver wheelbase. Twelve point six seven. 12.67, mine is 9.67. Yay. Uh, engine wheelbase. 20.25. 18.09. Uh, and overall wheelbase, engine and tender. 44.96. 37.83. Yay. How is this happening? How is this happening? Why have I won all these weird stats? Uh, you... so, someone in Pennsylvania heavens doing something. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay, fine, let's do these two. Power L1. Uh, Power L1 is 28.97. What? My Power L1 is 53.97. What? Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, this, has, this engine has no business doing what it's doing right now. <laughs> no, uh, it doesn't. All right, power MT? Uh, 241.62. 356.77. I have 19 points. This <laughs> engine... What the hell's going on? <laughs> uh, okay, um, I don't... I don't need to do another stat, but I kind of want to, like, I've pretty much run out of things to do. You can um, always do ratio of driver wheel base to overall engine wheel base. Yeah, but I could also not do that. Uh, Alright, that one's going to hurt if I do it. Uh, you know what, let's do this one. What are your high pressure cylinders? High pressure cylinders, 19 yep. by 22. Ah, I knew it. Uh, it's 14 by 24, which I know it's different in different dimensions, but it you you far and away win on the one, so. Ratio of driving rear base to overall engine. All right, base. thanks. Uh, it's 0. 0.53. 0. 0.63. Yeah, yeah, that, that's pretty cut and dry. 
Uh, uh, did we already do weight on drivers? We did do weight on drivers. We have more than 20 points. I should have called it when we hit 20 points, but I was in control and I didn't want to go to style points. But we can now if you want to. Uh, I'm trying to find like one more I could win. There, There is one more that I know you can win and I'm not going to say it. Actually, there are two more that I'm pretty sure you could win. Uh, did we we did minimum weight away, right? We did. You won by quite a bit. Uh, TBA, thanks for the table flipping emoji. Tractive effort. Get, got you covered, bro. Tractive, we did tractive effort. We did tractive effort. I had 11,000. Oh, beat okay. You by a lot. Uh... <laughs> We did that one, we did that one. We did that one. Do you guys know which two that we haven't done? Uh, we didn't do... No, wait, that's... Uh, you guys haven't done the... Have you guys done tender loaded and stuff like that? Yeah, we did. Yep. Have you done... Do you know? I know you've been paying attention. Did we do overall... Uh, we did overall wheelbase. We did overall wheelbase. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I forgot the one that you do want to do. But you know, know what? He, he, he you just know did what? that. Counter. Um, Wait a minute. Number in crafts. God damn it. One. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> no, Although I got like... 96. Yeah, I got like two cheap points already, so I guess you could, you know. I, mean, I shouldn't complain about that one. No. Did you do uh, factor vacation yet? No, we didn't. Factor. Would you like us to? Or, okay, you can say it. Factor of adhesion. Yeah, factor of adhesion. Yeah. Uh, not good. Four, five point eight. Ooh. Four point four point oh five. Wow, that's, okay, that's good. good. <laughs> that's but, really good. Hold on. Five point. How? Five point eight. It's really bad because my because my tractive effort is garbage and the engine is heavy. Yeah. Right. Uh. Yeah. Just I think we did all of them. All right, all right. Well, let's move on to style points then. I'm going to okay. grab a picture. Um, I would like a style point. Uh, I'll just take one for it, just one, because I'm not going to go and drill down, yeah. but just for having unique mechanics. Okay. You would you guys give that one to me? Like, you're the green one. Yep. I think it. Yeah, are you, you? You mean mechanics being like the the valve gear? Well, the the fact that it is it is a duplex and it is a compound. How is and that? A, wait. Because the first set of drivers is independent of the second set of drivers. The second set of drivers is driven huh. by the two external pistons that are high pressure, and then there's a center piston that's low pressure that drives the first set of drivers. Oh. It's really weird. I would love to see, like, a cutaway of that. Yeah, that'd be really cool. But do you guys think I deserve a point for having unique mechanics? Yes, of style? course. Uh, okay. Do I have an all-weather cab? It's kind of hard to tell in the picture. No, you don't. You don't. No? You would have a door. No, you don't. No. Do I? Okay. No, I definitely don't. <laughs> yeah. I have, like, a European cab. Uh, very tall smokestack. Did you guys <laughs> ask when you were yeah. built... Yeah. yeah, yeah. He beat me by oh. four years. By four years, eighteen eighty four versus eighteen eighty eight. I don't think. Do you guys think he deserves a point for a tall smokestack? <laughs> no. <laughs> I I'm, so. I'm grasping at air right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, there's one thing that I can see. Uh, there's two oh, things that I can see. Crap, that stack is tall. <laughs> okay, it's East like... Rail has steps on the farm bed ascension. <laughs> Yeah, he definitely has steps. He was actually designed to have, like, a cow catcher. <laughs> yeah. Mine is uh, sort of tacked does, on. Uh, there's no... I don't think any of us have any survivors. No. Unfortunately, I don't have any. Uh, uh, do I, I have say... a model train version? I hope Maybe. I hope I don't. Uh, <laughs> I'll yeah. buy a model. You know, I don't think you have handrails to get into your car. You don't think I have handrails? Uh, I don't think you have handrails. I definitely. I'm seeing a handrail, or is that a pipe? No, that's a handrail. Ah, uh, damn. Okay. I was about to go OSHA on your engine. No, I have. I have a handrail. It's really weird, but it's a handrail. Okay. Wow, you have it really lights? is weird how tall this engine is. Yeah. Uh, what is the actual picture? Tell us. I'm gonna give you a style point. 
Chris has very, like, clean lines. Oh, thank you. Like, a, a literal style point. I appreciate that. I, it, I agree. It looks it, very British. It is. Yeah, it's because it is. When I first saw it, I'm like... <laughs> Ellis is also green. I, I do have some color. Take a point for that. Ooh, in, can in you color. get a style point for having, like, wheel wells? I'll, I'll just, I think that's lumped in with the lines. I don't think that's special yeah. enough. Okay. You look like the... You look like a scary flying Scotsman. <laughs> Spooksman. <laughs> the flying Spooksman. dorksman. Dorksman. <laughs> <laughs> Big oof. Uh... East Pro has a bigger works from the This was a Pinsy engine? Um, Steam? Steam Dome? I think. Do you have a. Wait, you call you that? A bigger, I don't think he has a bigger Steam Dome. He definitely has. Well, he yeah. has a Sand Dome. Yeah. Yeah, style point I don't. being able to have grip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't have a Sand Dome. I don't have sand at all. That's one of the things that I noticed and I went, ooh. Like. That sucks. Uh, to remember East, what the East hell Rail was defending 3607, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, I want to look at this engine now. Yeah. I mean, it's a pretty normal looking. It's just uh, a mogul. Mogul. It it reminds me of almost. It reminds me a lot of like CNS9 or other Rio yeah. Grande moguls or Rio Grande consolidations. You know, it yeah. has the same yeah, sort you know, of. Yeah. No, it kind of does. Yeah. I'm getting. Now that you mentioned, I'm getting like. Rio Grande vibes. I'm getting C19 vibes. Yeah. I'm getting... C19. I'm getting mogul vibes. I, I, I'm getting well, C16 vibes from it. Yeah. Because Those of are, the, the, same the tank. Ooh! Uh, 3607 gets a style point for the cab shades. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did that last time. That's, that's, that's yep. fine. And a door on the front of the cab. I, 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 I don't have a door. You're right. I just have a hole. I'm not sure there's a door little, there. You have two little portholes. I'm not sure I, like... Oh, yeah, I do have portholes. Yep. Because I'm British. Maybe. We have square windows. C. I mean, Just we have normal. square windows and round windows. 3607 has marker lights. I have marker lights. He does, he does. Yeah, he, he does. 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 No. In, in the actual photo, he does. Yeah. Yeah. In the, in the drawing, I do, too. They're okay, mounted halfway right. up the boiler. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, there they are, like on the smoke box. Also, no, yeah. I totally have doors. You can see them in the drawing. They just fold inward, I assume. Oh, yeah. Uh, Move that one. Stop point. I'm not British imposter. <laughs> it's not a British imposter. It's an actual... They built it in Britain. Uh, I... Hmm... I like I like how they have the pansy thing decorated in this picture. Yeah, Can I, it's cool. Yeah, okay. It's pretty. Can I get a point for having a two axle tender? <laughs> can you get a point for it? I mean, can I get a? He point? can he can get a point for having a yeah, normal tender. Yeah, can I get a point yeah. for having a normal tender? Uh, uh, yeah, a monitor, I, mean, I wasn't gonna a say anything, tender. but you get a, a point for having an abnormal tender. No. No, no, all right. No, it's every three axle tenders tender. are not good for you. But you're different. You stand yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, well. He's a very special engine. He, he stands out in the railroad like it's known as the standard railroad yeah. of the world. <laughs> they ordered one standard. of these. They ordered one of these, and they were like, "Let's never order Ooh. another one." Yeah, exactly. Uh, we'll try it out. Yeah. Let's not. Like, <laughs> I saw the new Western with these, so we'll try out in 9 p.m. No, it's like you're at a party, somebody makes really bad food. It's like a courtesy bite. Yeah. Okay, we'll try yeah. it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's, I, hold on, the, let, me, then you, let me read. Then you, you, know, taste you go test. over to your friend and you're let like, I'm Let me lead, read a little excerpt. Uh, a web compound of the Pennsylvania Railroad. One of three non-standard engines the Pennsylvania assessed at the end of the 19th century. This was the London and Northwestern web, Northwestern's web compound. The other two were the 1504, a, a Schenectady built simple expansion engine, and 1510, a Baldwin compound. Choosing the three-cylinder web design can be questioned on many counts. Uh, analysts believe the system only persisted on the London and Northwestern because Webb was difficult to dissuade and he was the boss. Uh, Webb strongly believed in his method of compounding and hoped to interest American railroads in its merits. He contracted with Bayer Peacock to build a single engine. 
uh, you know, it was maintained that British inspirations, two horsepower singles drove the crank on the second axle, the large single low pressure cylinder turned the lead axle, uh, no coupling rods were used, they needed a cow catcher, it was doomed from the start, the copper firebox had a brick arch. Uh, uh copper? Copper firebox? Uh, what? yeah. Wow. No. The, and, and, and you said there were bricks inside of the Oh, yeah, it had, a, it had a brick arch. Um, the oh cow catcher with the center coupler and the Westinghouse air brake pumps near the rudimentary shelter over the foot. Oh, plate. it had Westinghouse. That's, it did. Uh, well, because they it's didn't not... have their own, they had to get one from here. I, I uh, came with knucker couplers off the factory. Yeah. American drivers hated the cab, apparently. Uh, Good. Lo- they loathed the scanty cab. And the Pennsylvania rebuilt the engine with a full housing, but nothing could overcome the low power and also the fact that it was a passenger engine with only a single axle in the front. Uh, It was allegedly well-built and did indeed prove economical, but it really wasn't a good engine. It was an economical engine, and it was built well, but it just wasn't a good engine. Uh, the, The... Quote, the proofs of the thoroughness of British workmanship and material did not prevent the engine from reaching the scrap heap at an early date. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, it's not good. The valve motion on the engine, as the men were not able to hear the exhaust, was in bad shape. Uh, back pressure on the high-pressure cylinders, valves were not square. Blah, 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 blah. Engine was not able to get much more than 60 miles per hour. It was very rough riding. Uh, that was in 1895, so... 13 years on. But, or no, 7 years on. I was going to say, they kept this for more than, like, The engine the engine kind of fell apart pretty quick. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Oh, that's that. I, I think we're good, unless we have anything else. Yeah. I'm American. <laughs> I'm a, re. This is America. Uh, I can't is, find anything. It's just a chicken. Hold on, alright, I'm going to put this in the thing. If anyone has... Uh, an idea for Locomotive Versus, we've got a spot open because this was the top one on the leaderboard, particularly one that includes this engine, I totally want to hear it. <laughs> because apparently, apparently it was it managed to defeat this otherwise normal yeah. mogul. I, I don't like this at all. <laughs> it's, it hasn't Sorry got it where I. it's, it hasn't, it doesn't got it where it counts, but it's got it in other places. For some reason. It's the most random stuff. Also, this can be said to be one of the earliest duplexes I've ever heard of. It's uh, Johnson's younger brother. Yeah. Or ancestor. <laughs> Deranged ancestor. I mean, the I wonder if this is what kind of inspired the PR to go with duplexes later oh, on. No, that, was like, all, that was all Baldwin's doing. That was all Baldwin pushing this idea. I talked about it on Under Construction recently. I was like, the, the B&O had theirs that the Baldwin was like, you guys want a duplex, don't you? And they're like, what's a duplex? They're like, this, here, buy it. <laughs> uh, and, the Bal- and the B&O was like, this doesn't work. And so the you know, Baldwin just went to the Pennsylvania Railroad and said, hey, you guys want a duplex, right? <laughs> and then they made the S1. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's cast our votes here. God, I don't even know. <laughs> I mean, I want to go with uh, 3607 because it's normal. <laughs> yeah. And not ugly like this thing. Hey, Rude. I, I, I don't like the green thing. <laughs> I do. <laughs> to be fair, I don't really like it that no, much either. Neither do I for multiple reasons. I, I dislike it for The for two men standing by it don't even like it that much. They, <laughs> they look so sullen and like, oh my god. I mean, smiling <laughs> that, in pictures wasn't really it, a thing until In, in my <laughs> picture, the guy's wearing <laughs> yeah, a that, I know, that, I know, I know, I was just kind of going... Yeah, just, no, I, I get it. But they're, you know, they probably don't enjoy it. Also, this thing has got fenders on the front wheels. Look at the, look at the, look at the drawing. Yeah, that's what I was... Oh my god. That's the kind of thing I was fenders. talking about when I said, uh, the wheel wells. Oh, okay, yeah, I thought you meant, like, where it goes up into the... Oh, up into the running board. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, like, the driving, the, the leading truck has fenders. It looks, you know, you know what it looks like? What? You know how on some airplanes, how, like, the landing gear are covered up? 
Yes. Yeah. It looks like that. Yeah, this thing was going to take off right into the trash. <laughs> <laughs> right into the dumpster. Right, right into the scrap heap. Yep, there you go. Uh, the, the, and another conductor in 3607's picture is wearing a pretty nice hat, so. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, let's cast our votes. I mean, you and I don't get a vote east, but... 3607 looks like it belongs in RDR2. Yep. Yeah, a little bit. S- style point in Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> style point in Red Dead Redemption. It's not uh, back. Honestly, I'm voting for 3607. Don't blame you. Thank Congratulations, you. TBA. You chose incorrectly. Because, no one. Uh, because it looks good. I'm I'm yeah. just gonna I'm just gonna write down Milky's vote. Yeah. <laughs> For a multitude of wee things. Yeah. Because Milky has his standard hate boner of the world. Yes. Uh I'm gonna vote for twenty. <laughs> Not because Thank of you. Pity though. Because <laughs> Pity I Pity both. I, uh, I like the concept of, you know, at least trying something. I know, it is a unique engine. That's really the it, only it reason is. I like it. Uh, it. It is, but it, I, I'm a fan of weird shit, but that's weird. <laughs> that, that's more... Yeah, Sir that, Bendy Boiler over yeah. here. Hey, uh, yes. hey Steve Laro. <laughs> <laughs> I got you a picture of this with no, with no context. Yep. Oh, there's drawings that it says for it, too. Like, Wait, actual... Really? Uh, uh wait a minute. Yeah, I I found I found some uh, I was like, yeah. Really? Yeah, there's diagrams. Uh let me pull it up with that. Of of which? Uh thirteen twenty. Oh no. Wow. I Let's wanna see it this. could be done. I wanna see how the hell it beat them. I wanna see some diagrams. Let's build okay. it. We need to start the thirteen oh we need to start the thirteen twenty trust. <laughs> <laughs> Let's but they are the 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 <laughs> I, I need to see these diagrams. Okay. Uh, all right. Anyway, I'm... let's let's get onto the cargos instead of uh, waiting for these diagrams. Oh crap! I need to update this. I just forgot. I need to update because uh, Jader, that was you asking the question. Yeah. Next time it's gonna be me. It's gonna be me. I knew that was coming. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about some news. Uh. I am... Oh, right. No, sorry. Before I get to anything, because I, I was going to talk about some Massachusetts-related stuff with Rapido, but... But... I have some breaking news out of Massachusetts. <laughs> and by breaking, I mean the MBTA is broken because there was a massive derailment on the Green Line in the tunnels near Kenmore Square. Uh, and... Wow, it looks bad. The... I... I Green Line trolley picked a switch at a crossover and just oof. Oh, it's all over the tunnel. That's uh, wonderful looking. And so they, you know, immediately was posted on Reddit, of course. Uh, yeah. Let me let me share the picture with everyone real quick. Uh, like with the the tender has a scoop. What? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh my god, Pensy. <laughs> no. Wait, did you see this? <laughs> no. It says it right there, with scoop. No. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. No. Yes. Oh god, yes. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> but go on. This thing go wouldn't on. be able to get fast <laughs> enough to freaking. That's incredible. Uh, to use uh, the scoop, Jesus Christ! Why? That's, <laughs> That's awful. Uh, and anyway, so of course this led to many Bostonites having to walk through the tunnel to get out. And so there was this amazing post on the, the Boston subreddit that said something something along the lines of, "I had a great walk today," and it's a picture of the inside of the MBTA tunnel. <laughs> Of the subway tunnel. Which, I mean, it was lucky it was on the green line because, A, the stations are fairly close together, and B, it has overhead wire instead of third uh, rail. So, that's, you know, somebody yeah. goes, that, the top comment, that tunnel could use a coffee shop. To, so, comment, reply to that, there's probably at least three Duggins in that tunnel. Two of them <laughs> located directly across the tunnel from one another. Uh, 
Wow. People are saying that pe- they can make a, til- a killing doing tours of the of the tunnels when the train isn't running. I would <laughs> sign up for that. I would do that. That's awesome. Uh, but yeah, so that's my that's my breaking Boston news. Literally broken uh, for this week. And now let's talk about the MBTA a little more because, uh, like I mentioned, Rapido is doing another run, or not maybe another, I'm not sure who did the last one, but they're doing a number of things, including Amtrak Horizon Cars in H-O-N-N, uh, Commuter Comets in H-O-N-N, the Ski Train in H-O, uh, a USRA Double Sheath Woodbox Car in H-O, uh, Rebuilt FL9 Relaunch in H-O, um, F40 and, Phase 2, and Late phase f40 ph locomotives uh including some mbta stuff as far as i've heard so that's exciting uh yeah there's the whole document here again horizon cars commuter comets for like uh metro north and other railroads including the mbta f40 phs in a whole bunch of schemes including ski train uh, New Jersey and and New Jersey Transit and the T, uh, the ski train. Oh my God, I love it! They're they're doing the whole ski train. Uh, I love FL nines. They're doing them in a bunch of schemes too. Good thing they're not doing them in Grapevine. Uh, Oof. Yeah. And just a bunch of. Oh man, I love it. Thank you, Rapido. I love you. I love you. Rap- Repeater did a very good thing. I'm gonna have to buy some F- some F40s. Maybe. Maybe not. I already own an F40. Uh, Need more. Oh, there's no. never enough so, F40. Never enough. You're right. There are never enough 40s. Our Lord. Uh, anyway. So I talk about the Lord. I talk about the Devil. Weibold was here, but he's not anymore. So that means I get to talk about RGS20. Because she's back at the Colorado Rare Museum after 12 years of restoration in Strasbourg. Oh, boy. And, you know, that's exciting. You know, yeah. and 1899 built for the Florence from Cripple Creek. Killed many, many people along the way. Went to Strasbourg, disappeared. To will the handful yeah. of times to... Yep. Effing Destroyed her own one. cylinder. Uh, as talked about on the last yeah. episode, and now she's back in Colorado. Uh, and apparently, everything is awful with this engine and its tender, because Wild was trying to fix some things, and it just yeah. wasn't having it. So, that's fantastic. 20's living up to her reputation. Yeah. I can't wait to see Lucy in Steam. Uh, and From a few hundred feet away. From Yeah, from a safe distance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or always maintain a safe distance. Yep. That's good. Speaking I'm trying of to main... give people all sorts of opportunities there. And speaking of uh, keeping keeping distance from stuff coming apart, uh, we uh, organized a railway museum went up to Snoqualmie, Washington, and dismantled interurban car 1058, Rest which in peace. we have. Uh, you probably about a hundred photos of the, the dismantling and we got it all down to the floor and we're going to probably sip it out sometime sometime I yeah. guess I, I mean I don't, you guys I, you guys want I, like the trucks and stuff right yes yeah the the controllers are already at the museum I I, I unfortunately <laughs> can't see them today but uh but yeah, we want the electrical equipment, basically, except for the wiring, mm. because it's so. It's, all but it's, am- it's amazing how well most, of, or how well some of it held up, and it's not amazing how most of it held up. <laughs> uh, but anyway, it's the thing that happened, and we're it, it gets the ten sixty seven bucks closer to operating. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But that's what you get when you're in the Wayne Forest for 60 years up in Washington. For a good cause. (sighs) And have someone tear off the overhead bin 
that is attached to your roof and they want to restore you to an interurban car, but that's a long story. <laughs> okay. Well. Aborted restoration aside. Um, yeah. Still sad that it happened, but parts are going to a good home. <laughs> well, we could have an actual restoration here. A restoration of, believe it or not, the new river train. Ooh. Which, as we talked about, didn't Ooh. run this year. Strangely, you know, after, you know, not not strangely like we didn't see it coming, but, yeah. you know, the the deal was canceled with Amtrak because they stopped doing all charter trains, etc. But the New River train had run for years upon years upon years. Uh, however, it has been stated that a deal has been reached with Amtrak, which I'm surprised they're going back to Amtrak for that, but... Uh, a deal has been reached to run this train, so apparently, money talks, you know, uh, not that that should surprise ever anyone, but apparently there is an amount of money that you can give to make Anderson let your train run again, I don't know. Uh, so, look out for that, the New River train returning. Cool. Well, you know what you sometimes see on a river boats? But yeah. you know what San Francisco right. is seeing? They're getting their boat back. Uh, their boat tram to be sacked. What is a boat tram? Okay, so the same that Blackpool England came up with the same the same guys that had or that had our double decker. A boat yeah. uh, tram. This is like a half decker. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's really. Is there a something. picture of this thing? There yeah, is. An article. It looks. Bad. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, it looks different. Uh, I don't think that different is good. I think it... Uh, Ew, is... dude! <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a Volkswagen Peace Bus. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is that? <laughs> it's a boat. Yeah, but with guys. the roof missing. Get, boat. Get on, that out on. of here. Well, what are we looking at? The Why boat they tram. The they, they I don't want that in my Wheel state. Vista. I don't want... <laughs> Wheel Vista has one of these, and they want what? to pick it up because of Double Decker. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. It's not that <laughs> bad. It's kind of cool looking. It's, at it's, it's unique. I'll it's say that much. <laughs> 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 Look at the headlights and the lights yeah. under the headlights. Yeah, no, so but it 100% like looks like... Looks like a topless Volkswagen bus on yeah. tro and trolley tracks. It really does, dude. <laughs> That's how you make it. Dude, you should go it. see these. You should go ride these. I should like, go, go the wide or don't, in case it rains. <laughs> or just, you know, go get a life preserver and get on. <laughs> <laughs> Ellis, you've been there. Yeah. I was like, damn, I missed these terrible looking things. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't have it. I know. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be in San Francisco soon, and I'm gonna see this. I'm gonna be like, "There's that fucking thing." <laughs> yeah. There you are, you ugly son of a gun. Speaking <laughs> oh, of terrible, no, things. looks at it, points at it. Uh, you, you, <laughs> you. But no, speaking of terrible things, um, a miniature steam locomotive was stolen in Seattle. That is pretty terrible. Nobody ever told them that nobody robs trains anymore. Well, uh, I... Oh, no. Uh, it was I, a, like a uh, giant uh, live steam yeah. engine. It's not like they make it made off with a model. No. It's a 1,300-pound live steam engine. Yeah, what the hell? It was worth 60 grand. Did You're they crazy. just bust into... Like, where was it? It was in... It was, it was in... Something. Also, they haven't planned this because they wore masks and everything. Yeah, they like paid a train robbery. Yeah. Yeah. It was Speaking in for maintenance. Yeah, hold on, things. hold on, hold on. One, just to say, keep look at this article. Keep an eye out for this thing if it shows up on Discover Live Steam. It's not like you can, you know, hide these things particularly easily. Yeah. I'm not really sure what these guys are trying to do with this. It's not like. I mean, I guess it's not even like stealing a car where it's like, yeah, there are a bajillion cars. There are not many of these. You know? Oh. That's 
I, I really hope they find this thing, because... What the hell? Uh, I think in the article it says it's been in the family for a few... Many years. Yeah. yeah. It was like yep. this dude's prized possession. Yeah. It's awful. Uh, and if we're going to talk about awful things, this was from a few weeks ago, but there was a, a, a model railway layout in the UK that was just trashed yeah. by by a bunch of dumb kids. Uh, and Send just like, them to Gulag. Yeah. Well, they actually did they did catch them as far as I know. They they did catch up with them. There they were arrests made. Uh but honestly, I have not seen this much just like there was a concerted effort to destroy this thing. It's amazing and and disheartening just yeah. how wrecked it is. Uh, sad. It's disgusting, that's what it is. Yeah. I mean, uh, but they got like huge donations like to rebuild it and everything, Absolute, so it, it, yeah. all is not lost. And like I said, they did, I believe, catch the people who did it, or at least the people they suspect that did it. And we were talking about this to the guest list a little bit, and I, if I have two cents to say on the subject matter, it's that I wish the punishment for these kids was to go and help the old guys rebuild their railroad. That's what I think the punishment should be. It's this, you know, okay. this basically this kind of community service where you get to see the lives you've affected you get to understand what it took to build that in the first place you know uh and i know it may not feel like too much of a punishment for us foamers oh i get to you know boo -hoo, i have to go play with trains but like it's i mean i think they should definitely receive a fine as well or whatever it shouldn't be their only punishment but i think they should be mandated by the courts to to do this to interact with these people to understand what they did wrong you know yeah because I think just being like, oh, you you know, you messed the place up, shame on you, here's a fine, or here's, you know, some jail time, or whatever. You know, they might not do it again, but they might not, like, learn anything. And I, I think it's really important that, you know, coming out of this, they can understand why what they did was wrong. Yeah. And maybe they can get something constructive out of it. You know, I don't... As, as much as it pisses me off, frankly, that this was done in the first place... You know, it's been done. We need to look at how to, you know, how to how to how to how to teach these kids not to do it. Yeah, you know. and and just just straight regular punishment. I don't think is is the best way to do that. It would certainly be effective, but there are other things that would be effective too. Uh, that's fine, and I I always read the opinion there, but <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if if you have something to if you have something to say, if you have something to say to the contrary, absolutely speak up because I, you know, you know, I just you know. No, I'm just I, saying now, but now we spread. I wish to your opinion. Oh, okay. Like, I thought you were like, all right. Well, if you think that, uh, I don't know. I think it's just important. Maybe maybe I'm maybe I'm talking too broadly on like, oh, you know, criminals and blah, 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 and the justice system reform, something, something. Maybe. But like, I don't know. I just, I think it's an opportunity that doesn't happen too often. You know, you see, you see these kids, they did a terrible thing and it's really, really easy to show them the lives they've affected and exactly what it meant to have that thing in the first place. Whereas yeah. a lot of the time that's, that's kind of hard to do to really, to really take someone who's committed a crime and put them in the shoes of the people they affected. You know, obviously if you, you know, you're not going to take a murderer and be like, see these, the, the you know, the victims, the, the people that you left behind, you know, the, the you know, the, yeah. the guy you killed's family, we're going to kill one of your family members just so you can understand how they feel. No, that doesn't, that doesn't work quite as well. Uh... But, yeah. In, in in this, it's a it's a unique opportunity, I think. And I'm, of course, it's a shame that it happened. But I think we can, you know, it can be used constructively. And again, the people did get a huge amount in donations to rebuild their layout. Yeah. And I hope that they, I hope that they can, you know. Anyway, anyway, that aside, it is something that we had sitting on the burner from last time. I wanted to be able to talk about it. I wanted to. Share okay. Well, speaking of things on the burner. Uh... <laughs> Oh, this is kind of terrible. Um, in Fremont, California, a trussle cop. Oh, jeez. Oh, nice. So, yeah. 
Uh, I get it. On the burner. Ha ha ha. That was bad. Eh, we've had worse. Oh, Jesus. you can see me in hell, yeah, dude. At least, at yeah. least it was a decent, like, trying to get from one thing to another. And at least it didn't involve soup. <laughs> or comfy seats. Does it God even soup? soup? Does it but you know what does soup? involve comfy seats? Um, the dart, uh, flirt contract. <laughs> Ooh, flirt. Yeah. And bright line. We, we, we can talk about some forks uh, uh, whenever we talk about the trip. Yeah. What about bright line? Uh, so the start of the high speed connection to Orlando is likely to be delayed by two years. So Why? that's going to be fun. What happened? They got like bank in bonds. Uh. Alright, well, hold they on, got, They see. didn't get abatements, apparently. Oh. Oof. Great, red tape. Yeah. Red tape. Well, good luck, Brightline, in all that you do. I'm rooting for you. Besides killing people. Well, you know. Florida man steps in front of train yet again. <laughs> it's a story as old as time. Or at least as old as trains. Yeah. And if we're going to talk about uh, famous train stories, let's talk about Casey Jones. What happened to Casey Jones? He ran into the back of a train that was too long for the siding, right? Yeah. Well, the cannonball, ironically enough, or coincidentally enough, uh, expressed to the Hamptons on the Long Island Railroad, running westbound without any passengers after its first run of the year on Friday afternoon, was sideswiped by a Montauk-bound train carrying oh, 32 no. passengers because it was too long for the siding. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the locomotive which was pushing from the rear was still sticking out onto the main track. And, yeah. They literally did the Casey Jones thing. Although it wasn't like a... came at it from the side. It was sideswiped. It was parallel to the train. So, Ooh. yeah. Two out. locomotives derailed. Uh, they had to be cleared from the area. They had to reconstruct hundreds of feet of track. Oh my god. Oh boy. That was that was amazing. I don't know how you pulled that off, Long Island Railroad. I don't know how you make that mistake. Yeah. Uh, apparently, you know, it spoke to the need for the Long Island Railroad to have capacity upgrades on the East End, including more and longer sidings, uh, and actually double tracking the thing because it's single track, which is why this happened in the first place. Ooh. But yeah, so that happened. It's certainly a, a unique cause of derailment because the siding wasn't long enough in this day and age. Yeah. Yeah. Got any other derailments? Uh, derailments? No. I no? have something that may prevent a derailment. Uh, Flooding causes Amtrak to suspend service between Texas and Missouri. Oh. Uh, on oh, on Friday, a flash flood warning and evacuation of a rural area in western Arkansas was ordered after the Arkansas River breached. An Amtrak official Ooh. said in its news release that the flooding has diverted freight trains onto tracks used by passenger train service. Oh, yeah, it got screwed again. Great. Also, cool. it's funny you mentioned that because there's another article here about those causeways uh, and the flooding. And apparently... Uh, Two of the, uh, Ooh. hold on, there's, there's, there's something going on here. There's something, uh, railroads did not have permission to build causeways in the Platte River, is the, the headline here. So, uh, Go ahead. yeah, each railroad <laughs> built its temporary roads after the March floods washed out their bridges. So they had bridges, right? And yeah. then they just, the bridges got washed out, so they just made some causeways. And they... Uh, they I got just, told no. You know, they they well they caused flooding because of these causeways. Oh, uh, boy. Th this is part of it's an extension of what we talked about last time. Oh, okay. I see. And yeah, the the railroad never received the permits to build causeways to to reroute the flow of the river. Basically, they were only allowed to build bridges. And there's another thing in here in the mix, because they built the causeways, they changed the flow of the river, and then an endangered species of fish moved in. So, uh, obviously, they need to get rid of the causeways, but now there are 
reasons to not remove them because now there's a habitat <laughs> for these endangered fish because of the causeways. So they unintentionally got a way out of removing the causeway. It's the right, fish. Yeah. Effing fish. Uh, fish. I can't fish. check off of that. <laughs> anyway, you know, actually, you know what else might help uh, prevent derailments? Oh, okay. Robots. Beep, In beep, fact, beep, beep, Canadian beep. National thinks that they're going to save 400 million over the next few years by using AI. AI. But I'm not talking about running trains automatically. I'm talking about doing car inspections. Interesting uh, idea. Yeah. Oh, very interesting. The, there is a concept that they have for an automated inspection portal, which is a machine that uses AI because, of course, that's the buzzword, that can evaluate 120 cars in two minutes. That's like 60 cars a minute. Uh, that's, a, that's a car a second. Uh, yeah. And well, so what cars are can, they talking about? Like freight cars, just yeah. box like cars or whatever. 89-foot auto axe or 40-foot box assume, cars? I assume your average freight car. I assume a 50-foot box car. Maybe uh, 60. Maybe 60. Uh, but... Yeah, so they're looking to build these these portals, which is metal arches placed over the tracks, 36 <laughs> stadium quality lights, and 360 degree cameras that record continuous imagery of the train as it passes through. Wow! And then it gets fed into a computer, and the computer analyzes it, and uh, and will basically tell you if there's anything wrong with the car, even almost even better than the human eye. Uh, uh, certainly right now they might huh. not be, but yeah, in the future yeah, yeah. they probably will be. Uh, they've already installed four of these portals, and they plan to install two more by the end of the year. Uh, 2020, by 2020, there'll be ten of them across the network. Uh, but there isn't regulatory approval for this yet. You still have to do a, a human inspection of the cars, but they yeah. expect approval by 2021. Uh, okay. Okay. But the thing with these, the reason they can work so quickly is that you can just drive through them at 60 miles an hour with a train. Yeah. You don't have to stop the train and get out and get under it and look around and, and that sort of thing. It's, uh, yeah. And That's also they have an autonomous gonna, track yeah. inspection car, too. That's CN's cool, huh? all over it. CN's all over computers. They, they're basically making Skynet, but on rails. Let's, let's see. And Amtrak's all over upgrading low-speed tracking between Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. Yeah, thank God. So trains can actually run faster on the Northeast Quarter where they're, where they're supposed to go fast. They oh, are. Boy. And speaking of Amtrak, um, there's a new plan coming where they want to take Amtrak along Okay, the I-20 Corridor Council is moving forward with their plans to bring Amtrak to North Louisiana. Oh. They want to they wanna take Amtrak into Monroe. Hey, I know someone who could use that, and his name is Heinz Castle. Yeah. yeah he was going... Uh, uh, I've been talking a lot with yeah. Heinz lately. <laughs> what would you say, Jader? It's because Heinz was going all... Yeah. All over the place with this. Yeah, Was he, he was. really? That's awesome. I'm glad he's heard of it. Probably uh, doesn't really want it. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Um, Who doesn't want more trains? Well, where's that? Where's that thing? Did uh, I actually people? get rid of that article? Uh, Sam was one Day of... doesn't want more trains. Yeah, there's there's <laughs> one. <laughs> because they're threatening the Sioux Union Pacific to shut up, ad. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I they, provide they the perfect segue. They want to stop nighttime trains uh, to stop their neighborhoods. Trains. And they also want Union Pacific to clean up trash. That should be their problem. Well, the <laughs> trash is on the trash is on the Union Pacific property, but I don't know. You know, I don't know about that. We need a trash tag. The, the UP should make a deal with them. If they shut down trains at night, anyone's free to go and clean up the trash <laughs> on the yeah, tracks. Exactly. Uh, and you know what rail is trash? CSX. And Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I can be proud of them because I'm in their territory. Um, the CSX recently sold off the uh, Panhandle line to Rail USA. Never oh, yeah. heard of it. 
Uh, the subsidy of the Florida Gulf and Atlantic. Okay, okay. I might have heard of those people. I reckon Florida man name. Florida, yeah, oh, the, sa the sale includes this 430 well. miles of track related to the estate across uh, northern Florida and into Georgia. Cool. Oh. Good. Well, good I mean, see, they were uh, trying to sell that. They were also trying to sell the BNA and a bunch of other things. But yeah. uh, to go back to Amtrak for just a second, there is a Wall Street Journal article here that is about uh, the new Avalia Liberty cars that are getting built in New York State, in uh, Hornell, New York specifically. And I don't know, I can't read the whole thing because Wall Street Journal is uh, a paid Hanging facility. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you can see them getting put together. It's, it looks familiar to the uh, facility that we were in in Salt Lake City, the Sandler facility, except, you know, a uh, hundred and some years older. Oh, hey, Jay, you're back. Mm -hmm. Welcome yeah, back. Been, been back. Well, speak of Amtrak okay. and improved services. Uh, there's a feasibility study out to bring Amtrak to Yakima for the first Yakima. time since 1981, which, which I don't know what... that means Amtrak was never in Yakima. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I'm not sure what even train, even uh, what train in 1981 would have been in Yakima. <laughs> because there was in the Milwaukee Road. That, that was gone. I need then. a map. Uh, I, I don't know where Yakima is, so hold on. I need to. I I just need to try and understand this. Yakima is smack dab in the middle of Washington. Thanks. That doesn't really help me. <laughs> yeah. I, I know there are some there are some things out there. Uh, wait, maybe wait, the northern. Or, um... Wait a minute. Oh, I get it. I get it. Wait, was that the? Nope, that wouldn't have been that. I don't know. Nope. No, no, no. no. Okay. I I think they're just confused. Because I don't... If if it ended in 1981... Oh, wait, no. No, no. Amtrak started when? 71. 71. Okay, that's why I was confused. Okay, so yeah, no, they... What but, would they have had? I don't know. Uh, that, that's a weird wow. question. That could be a terminus question. <laughs> yeah, what except we don't is, know the answer to it. Yeah, yeah, what yeah Yakima is really in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Literally, but, the middle. But anyways, uh, they're, they're trying to do a feasibility study done I mean, they, by yeah. 2020. Which is good. I mean, that's cool. More Amtrak get. Yeah. Especially in these areas that are kind of a little bit out there, but could work as Amtrak. They're a little okay. bit out there, but they're not too far yeah. away. Yakima is still a big population center, well, to be yeah. speaking to the entire state of Washington. Uh mm -hmm. <laughs> So, um, it's rooting Seattle. So what? Yeah. Okay. Kansas City Southern really trimmed off some of their roster. Like how much? Well, they took 20, or a large group. Sorry, not 20. A large RGS group. 20? Ugh. No. <laughs> a, a large group of 20-year-old EMD SD70 Max. And so they sold 40... Of the 75 SD70 Max rostered by KCS, Ooh. and 20 of their EMD switcher units, hmm. which were like SW 1500s and hey, big sad older switchers and stuff sad. like that. Let's see. Yeah, what other wow. company is selling off stuff? They were in the KCSs. Oh, okay. They're also selling KCS 1001, which was an SW 1001 S. Or Wait, SW, what? SW 1001. Uh, okay. Cool. I've never cool. heard of that before. Speaking of things for sale, Run 8's new Ivan and Oak Creek branches. A. It looks very nice. Definitely go buy it. And it's half. The regular price of a root. Yes. Is uh, it like it? Is it like its own by. thing, or is it connecting to something? Connecting to uh, the Mojave, I think. Mojave. Awesome. But it's another I, thing for me to buy someday. Someday. But I'm but you know what we need to buy someday? Tickets what? to Grand Canyon's photo event. <laughs> <laughs> I tried that. <laughs> they tried canceled that. it. Oof. They canceled the Grand Canyon Steam when I was going out there specifically for that. 
Ah, uh, whip. Oof. That was that was the thing that I built the Amtrak around. That was the one date uh, that was set in stone. Uh, they were gonna run. I think they were gonna run a double header. Okay. Big. Uh, and they just they didn't have any any water. It was just too hot. But if we want to talk about steam, but this is in October, so it won't be that hot. Yeah. Well, hopefully they'll have some water. But yeah. so, forty fourteen. Yeah. Came from a museum in Southern California. Yes. And now, forty fourteen is going back. Wait, what? Uh, it is getting. There is going to be an excursion with forty fourteen on the on October twelfth and thirteenth. Uh, with no other details announced yet, other than to check railgiants.org for more details as they are available. Uh, there aren't, like, statements of where or what exactly, but uh, people have said, people have speculated that a likely scenario would be a run across Kajan. Uh, uh, just like Cannon City. A run across Cajon Pass to... Uh, from Los Angeles to Yermo. So we'll see Come how it goes. Come in the Yermo. You be Voy 14. Come in the Yermo now. Yeah. So. <laughs> you should go down and see it. You yeah, should. You it's going to be. It's going to be in Pomona. It will be. Well, a zoo. But, I'm, but I'm lazy. Is it coming to Roseville? Uh, is Roseville Union Pacific? Yeah. Yeah. Then yes. Perhaps. They have. They have said that. If you live, don't worry. If you live next to a Union Pacific Main Line, you will see forty fourteen at some point. <laughs> that's 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 what they've said. I don't know if they're gonna follow through on that. I hope they do. But I I heard rumor may. of a system wide tour. <laughs> that's what they want to do. Yeah. That, that's essentially what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. They're just not stopping everywhere. Yeah. Like uh, in. I mean, Roseville's a big, yeah. big part of the UP. Yeah, yeah. What were you big saying, Jay? Over Donner. Uh, let's oh, see. Yeah, think... in Jul- yeah, next month. Uh, yeah, next month, forty fourteen is going to the to the Lake Superior Railroad Museum. Hey. Uh, on, on July twentieth and twenty first. Minnesota. I want to go back to that museum, partially you because should. it's a great museum, partially. I was talking to one of my plays at Hogan today about it. Partially because it's a great museum. We both love it. Mm-hmm. Partially, big boy. Partially because the big boy is coming. Yeah. But if you want something a little bit smaller, in uh, in early 2020, it is said, there will be a grand reunion of two-foot gauge locomotives at the Wa- Wiscasset, Waterville, and Farmington Railway in Ola, Maine. Uh, the WWNF, along with the Maine Narrow Gauge Railroad and Museum, Maine Locomotive and Machine Co., and the Booth Bay Railway Village are going to be bringing together locomotives and rolling stock from three two-footers. The, hey, hey, hey. Uh, some of stuff, some of the stuff hasn't been, again, been together in almost a hundred years, including running the Parlor Car Rangely. And... The newly refurbished SD Warren number two, uh, Bridgeton and Sacco number seven, WWF number nine, Monson number three. Uh, that that is a list all. You know, that is a list on its own. That is basically all of the operating two foot gauge steam engines. I'm not sure about others in the U S. Honestly, uh, and they're all going to be in one place. Uh, That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, attendance is limited to twenty-five each weekend. So, what? yeah. That's the way. Uh, this is, yeah. this is, time off, this is gonna be a. This is. Oh, sorry. Hold on. That specifically, attendance is limited to twenty-five for each weekend for a limited special opportunity to explore the new track that they've just made. Uh. <laughs> so, it's called the Mountain Extension. Yeah, okay. It's another like quarter of a mile that they just finished laying over the bridge and everything. So 25 people each weekend will be able to go on a ride over the mountain extension. Uh, and two additional opportunities will, are being offered. The first is the SR and RL on Friday, 
WWNF number nine will be backdated to represent its days as SRRL number seven. Ooh. Uh, and will be run along with Parlor Car Rangely, uh, FNM Coach number two, SRNRL Combine 14, and other equipment uh, to basically backdate everything to SRNRL days. So that's super exciting. I'm so excited for that. Uh, you know, I might just go and rail I'll fan think that's it. the Sandy and Rangely's railroad. Yeah. That's the Sandy River and Ranger Lakes. Uh, number number nine on the WWF is number six on the Sandy River and Ranger Lakes. It's the only surviving locomotive from that railroad, uh, and it survived by like a really twisty, turny fate where it got traded and sold to like several different people. So that's cool. Yeah, uh, I believe in in horseman parlance, her name is Avon, but I'm not totally certain. Avon. Uh, because all of the locomotives are named after towns that the SRNRL served. Anyway, uh, who else has got cool? Well, I don't suppose anybody else has two foot stuff. No, no, no. Do you have some uh, cool happenings in Washington? Uh, two foot flights. The the Omaha Track Incorporated. What is that? I have no idea. No short line thing that I don't know. Like the for the man thing, uh, has been selected to operate part of the state owned uh, PCC, uh, Power Oak River in Cooley City. I'm not too familiar with Washington names. Uh, <laughs> but, anyways, Washington has selected them as the operator, and they got to build grants that. I, I don't know what the hell 5.7 build grant is supposed to mean. I think they mean million. 5.7. Yeah. It's 5.7. What? Money. <laughs> Money. <laughs> uh, they did clarify in the article million. Oh, okay. That's not all that much, but, you know. I'm sure there are, you know, I'm sure there are people that can take $5.7 million a real long way. Yeah, the San Maria Valley Railroad could. Uh, but right now they seem to be on a wall. According to this news article, they've been around for 108 years as a railroad. Um, wow! And they Have they gone for... bankrupt? No. <laughs> and they oh, yeah. for free, was... uh, free of their surviving steam engines are here in the state of Oregon. <laughs> Oddly enough, wasn't it like you know what? Was, uh... Wasn't it CN's birthday a few weeks, a few uh, days ago? I mean, well, the 100th birthday. Seeing as an American, mate. <laughs> but right, stuff. Right, right. Uh, yeah, there are some people that could go a pretty long way with $5.7 million. There are some people you know, who could you know not. You can't go far with that? <laughs> Warren <Who>? Buffett. <laughs> <laughs> like the Buffett Warren billionaire yeah. says. 1309. The, the Buffett 1309? Is 1309 delayed? Uh, damn it. Uh, again. Yes. What? No! How could this happen? I didn't at all see this coming. <laughs> I already got my shot right here. So, yeah, so according to the article, long story short, blah, blah, blah. They're, long story short, blah, 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 they're delayed. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Same track okay. we like. Yeah, part of it is with the track. The track is on, itself is property of Allegheny County. With that, there's some TLC needed for the rails. We're looking at reports. We are looking at, at about 1,200 ties that need replaced. Jesus Christ. I mean, oh my God. How does this not come up before? How That's has this not like, come up until now? I don't even know. Like, how do you not even do tire? Like, do you just not expect anything? <laughs> Listen, there will not be a problem. There will not be a problem. Absolutely. Never. Hmm. Oh, there's a problem, all right. Uh, well, yeah, problem, you know, uh, I'm sure <laughs> everything will be fine for them. It's all turned out fine so far. But sure. Back to uh, what I was talking about before I got hijacked. Um, <laughs> the Buffett Warren billionaire is uh, looking at Union Pacific. Oh, boy. <laughs> this... They're he, watching he, them. 
Yeah, they're waxy. Always waxy. So they're going to merge with them, is what you're saying? It's going to be a merger? Yeah, Shacky. They, yeah. They're going to Kuwait SPSS. Post mortem. Wait, no. <laughs> yes. Yes. Go back. Wait, 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 wait. Who's merging? No, no nobody's actually merging. It's oh. a joke. Uh, uh, yeah. I was going to say, wait, that's illegal. But no, <laughs> Union, wait, Pacific, that's Union Pacific, in its exploits with precision scheduled railroading, is being carefully watched by, uh, by BNSF. As yep. to, hmm, let's see if this works or not. Well, better, let's see how we can do it better. <laughs> yeah. Personally, well, yeah, I, mean, I, really. I like BNSF more than Union Pacific. I do, too. I mean, most people with a brain yeah. do. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Jeez. Union Pacific has yeah. the... Sorry, UP Foamers, B but... BN was cool. Was <laughs> BN was cool. I mean, uh, UP yeah. Foamers be like, UP has steam, BNSF doesn't. BNSF borrows 44-49 whenever they feel like it. And uh, 47 51. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, Annoying that I, mean, I, I, don't, forget. I don't mean to offend you, yeah. Foamers, because I had a hell of a time with 4014. I, I did too. I, yeah. mean, <laughs> I mean, I have nothing against Union Pacific. Like, oh, yeah. I, I mean, I just, they're but not BNSF my favorite railroad. Better. They're not my favorite. Yeah, BNSF. I mean, I don't personally, I have a chip on my shoulder thanks to Weibold. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, but, but we're not here to talk about favorite railroads. Yeah, you know. I uh, well, parts. Can we talk about favorite museums? Yeah, absolutely. Because <laughs> I love the Franklin Institute, and apparently they're going to renovate the hell out of their train room with this okay. really bizarre-looking rendition, and they're putting their trains up, up, like on a bridge over the where they currently are, lift, so that they can get more exhibit space out of it, which is actually really cool. I suppose this is going to put the kibosh on rolling sixty thousand back and forth. Uh, not that they do that anymore, because they don't, but, uh... I wonder why. Because it, it just doesn't go. Uh... Yeah. Like, to create the new city... Oh, wow! Wow, that's really interesting. So the, the engine isn't moving, believe it or not. To make this area, the engine is not moving. They're dropping the floor down a story. Oh, which is dropping the floor around the engine. Yeah, the engine is staying exactly where it is. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Because apparently it's sitting on these two arch-looking things. Uh, huh. Also, you know, uh, blah, blah, blah. Gen Generation of Museum Village Service will remember it moving back and forth a few feet, though it doesn't anymore, and it won't in its new setting. It has not moved in over five years. The reality is, in the world we live today, uh... A five-foot move of a train is not something that provides the ultimate customer yep. service experience. We don't view that as additive. Uh, any number of sentimental five-year-olds might disagree. Uh, <laughs> or sentimental former five-year-olds might disagree. Uh, uh, but yeah, it's really so that they can have more exhibit space underneath where the engine is now. So, Which is always good. That's really, really cool. Yeah. yeah. I Honestly, I love this museum so much. I love it so much. I made sure that we went to it on the Pennsylvania Special, because goddamn, I love this museum. That, uh, that train looks a little bit dirty. Well, speaking of stuff that hasn't moved in five years, uh, <laughs> White Pass uh, 73. Is that I one in the river? No. Oh. It's in Washington. Uh, yeah, it's being rebuilt, actually. Uh, okay. I'll just post the ink <sighs> in the chat. Be back. Okay. Uh, hold up. There we go. Hold up. I should be there soon. Yeah, there. It got caught up today. So, woo. Cool. It's alive! Yeah. I didn't Good even morning. know that was, like, a thing. Yeah. It, it's been so under rebuild for the past, uh, five or so years, so... Wow, it looks really good. Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. The three students are going to head back up to the White Pass. And really? Hopefully operate more than 69 currently does. <laughs> Oof. Like, well, White Pass doesn't want steam. As much White as Pass... It. Well, White Pass needs more capacity. And I, like I've been saying, White Pass just needs a... 
Malay mogul. <laughs> Three foot they skookum. Just, they need no. They don't need a skookum. They need a. Uh, yes, they they need a. They need a Hercules. Everybody yeah, needs they, skookum. They the the answer to their problems is why in their own yards. Uh, Fifty two. <laughs> yeah. What is that one? They're mogul. <laughs> I don't they think so. Fix, they want to fix it up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I'm sure it'll pull yep. a whole two cars. Yep. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, they just need two of those, but yep. glued together as one large engine with side yep. tanks. Or with, Jack. yeah. Uh, Flex glue. With, 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 with box tanks. Uh, but yeah, cool stuff. Uh, that's all that I had. Give me I, I just I like remembered Steve. that this happened today. Any other steam? Uh, uh yes. Yes. Uh, KNL released their Grand Trunk Western slash Ohio Central E three B last week. Um, and as soon as soon as it, it looks great, it sounds great. It seems like it's better than money. <laughs> and night for that and nineteen, I'm gonna pick it up. Yeah. Play with it. It is time. So at least on toll room. I convinced uh, TJ to buy Westy. Because Good. I was like, whole site's on sale, don't you want something? And he's like, uh, I kind of want Westy. I was like, it's summer. It's time to spend some money. <laughs> uh, Me, IRL. Money! Yeah. Yeah. Nobody, um, me during the summer, spends money like a bitch. Some more yep. steam related news, though I don't think the steam engine's operating in, or in any operating condition. It may be the end of the line for the historic UCV train. The what? Uh, it's a Grand Trick Western... Oh, I think it's a Mogul. Oh. Uh, 1008. And it's at Alterville. And um, they they only currently have saved the, the uh, engine and consist with passenger cars. Well, they... No, the lightweights. Uh, and... They only have temporarily saved it, and so they're asking for the next generation of uh, coming to the town to help restore it. Interesting. God damn it! Why do they keep finding stuff? Well, I mean, I hope I hope they can save that engine. Anyway. Oi! It's being moved to um, Antonito. <laughs> Oi is one of the rotaries, right? Yes. Wait, why? What are they doing with it? They're fixing it. Yay! <laughs> the Kifkoff, the Weirwick's 50th anniversary. Yay! <laughs> yeah. I like rotaries. Give, I, give, I was give. looking for a termination, but I found that instead. <laughs> Which give, is give, even give, cooler. Give. Did I make 200 miles an hour on my termination last time? I think you did. Okay, make it did. again. I, yeah. I, uh, I, I seem to see Plud <laughs> for I seem to see plugged a, yeah. a fundraiser for like two yeah. months. Yeah. Uh, actually, probably more than that. But Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Alright, well, is that everything? It looks like we're pretty barren for news here, unless there's a couple more things people want to say. Yeah, I have a few more articles. Okay. Oh, what's up? Um, so, Ivan and e- Igor got a little bit drunk and decided to steal a railway bridge in Russia. You know what's the Uh, most bizarre thing about this? If I had a dollar for every time that we talked about a stolen bridge on this podcast, I'd have two dollars. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that we've done it twice now. Yeah. So, uh, a criminal case has been launched in Russia's Arctic region of Murmansk after suspected metal thieves made off with a railway bridge. Suspected. It was 23 meters long and weighed 56 tons. It was a it was a whole bridge. See, they just <laughs> took it. I don't yeah. know. That takes it takes like some ingenuity to manage to pull that off. Like Trust I'm me, not I'm sure. An engineer. I'm definitely not mad. I'm kind of impressed. These guys are just like, trust me, I am engineered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they de-engineered the thing into a scrapyard. Uh, I may have had one too many bottles of vodka, but trust me, There comment, is no such thing as idea. one too many bottles of vodka. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
There is only not enough vodka. Let's uh, see. So I, I don't have a termination at all. <laughs> I should have saved the MBTA derailment for the term, for termination. Anyway, all right. So that's that. Uh, there is one more. I guess you'd call it a derailment. Oh. Uh, a driverless train reverses into a station, injuring fourteen. Ooh, that's like the first Ouch. major driverless train wreck we've had. I think. Yeah, in, in Yokohama. No idea where that is. Oh, in Tokyo. Okay. I could have guessed that one. <laughs> yeah, it's just, not just saying, just Hiroshima. throwing it out there. Uh, um, but then the next article has where the FOA, or my next article at least, uh, says the FOA has recently uh, ruled that when it comes to the number of crew members in the cab of a lo- locomotive, there simply is no evidence to support the notation that two is better than one. Yeah, we did talk about this a little bit last time. We actually had quite a, an animated discussion on this. But yeah, it's just another... I think this article just sort of breaks it down a little bit and talks about what, you know, you know what that really means or, you know, why why it's not maybe such a big deal as people are making it out to be. I don't know. Yeah. Or maybe it's, you know, whatever. Whatever. Either way. If that's all the news, that means we can... Wait. What? There is... A new tycoon type game coming out on Steam. It's in early access right now. It's called Railroad Corporation, which I think is a little bit bland. It could have been a better <laughs> title, admittedly. <laughs> yeah. But it's it's like a nineteenth century Sid Meier's Railroads. I mean, yeah, it looks like a discount Sid Meier's Railroads. If I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. It, it's like yeah, it's multiplayer. It, it wants to be like Sid Meier's. If it Railroads. has multiplayer, I might already be sold though. Yeah, <laughs> like Sid Meier's Railroads and like Train Fever had were mixed. I don't know. It it looks interesting, but maybe I'll f- watch like a Let's Play. Yeah, I'm definitely not dying to buy it, <laughs> but no. you know, isn't it by the same people who made Bounty Train? Uh. Corby Games. I don't know. I, I, I thought I, I thought I saw something about that, but maybe I'm mistaken. I'll look into it. Let me check. Uh, I, just, have... I just don't know. Is that... What the heck is this guy doing in Planet Coast? Can I get, like... Alright, store page. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Developer, Corby Games. So it is by the same people who did Bounty Train. Interesting. Okay. That, I mean, explains, that, that explains why it's 19th century. <laughs> I was, uh, I, yeah. It also, ex- I mean, it explains the art style, too. It explains a number of things. I, yeah, definitely. You know, Bounty Train was fun for a couple of hours. I do uh, think, I, I wish Bounty Train, I wish there better. was more to it. Yeah. It's a cool yeah. concept, but I think it could have been done a bit better. Yeah, it, it wasn't done great. Uh, that's That's the thing. It were, like, there was too much of the going around and not enough of the fight scenes, I guess, to make them worthwhile, because I felt like you never really had the opportunity to learn how to do those. And and from what I saw from watching you play it, those fight scenes were hard. They were, well, they were hard, but they were hard because I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. Uh, there were a lot of things... Like, I didn't know how to use, like, the health stuff. I didn't know how to do a lot of stuff in those. Because you only get a couple of chances, really, to ever learn how to do them. Because they just happen so infrequently. You know? I, I feel like if they were going to do that, they should have it happen, like, every time. And then the game would be a lot more... You know, if you refine it a little bit, then at least you have a very consistent sort of gameplay. And those things aren't the thing that you're dreading. You know? Uh, because, okay... Did you guys hear that? Because I don't yeah, know what the hell that, that. was. Yeah, I, I uh, beep, beep. Somebody just driving down the road honking. Beep, 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 right. beep, 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 yeah. yeah. They, they had to get the few seconds on the podcast. Yeah, yeah I guess. All right. Well, <laughs> no, I, I don't that know. I'll, I'll look into that game a little bit more. I don't think I'm going to buy it necessarily, but maybe if it has multiplayer and maybe if it looks really good, then, then maybe. You know, maybe. Anyway. All right. So, like I said, at the... Uh, at Locomotive Versus, we do have one open spot in Locomotive Versus. Feel free to post a comment 
of what you think locomotive versus should be, and I will pick out of those. We got three on the last episode. We had an empty slot. I picked one of those and put it in. It was the the Niagara versus the Niagara, the New York Central Niagara versus the uh, NDM yeah. locomotive that is also an Alco uh, Northern. So yeah. they look very similar. I'll say that much. Uh, and. The reason I did, we were going to do with the 040 off, and the reason we didn't is because we couldn't uh, get stats for the correct 040s. And the other one I thought was cool, but we have a lot of melee ones, so. Anyway, uh, yeah, feel free to post your suggestions, even if, uh, even if they've been posted before, if we haven't done them. Absolutely let us know that you want to see something. So that's, uh, that's it for... The maintenance away. Let's talk about what do we think is the latest train on Amtrak. Oh boy, it's eight, it's eight thirty Pacific Standard Time. Oh, yep. the Southwest Chief. So I got to think about east or west. A little bit. Uh, westbound. Westbound. Okay, westbound Southwest Chief. Let's see. Okay. I think it's the eastbound. Crescent. Eastbound Crescent, okay. okay. Oh, wait. Um, I'm going with the Westbound Zephyr. Westbound Zephyr, okay. And okay. Uh, I am going to go for oh the gosh. Westbound Empire Builder. Westbound Empire Builder. All right, well, to start with, the Westbound Empire Builder is fairly light. Well, one of them is. The other one is... Uh, 25 minutes late, that's not bad at all. Uh, The Empire Builder that just left Chicago is 3 hours and 14 minutes late. Okay. That's not not great. Not Uh, bad in terms of this. Unfortunately, it's beaten out even by the Lakeshore Limited, which is Uh, 4 and a half hours late. Uh, The Crescent is even later at 5 hours and 4 minutes late. Ouch. But that is not the latest train on Amtrak. No way! Uh, oh no, it gets worse. The Southwest Chief, are you cheating? He's cheating. I, no, I, I, I said my guess Cheater. before I looked at the map. Cheater! I Cheater. said my guess before I looked Southwest at the map. The Southwest Chiefs are pretty much Wait, universally like... an hour and a half late. There's an hour and 50 okay. minutes, an hour and 48 minutes, an hour and 20 minutes, but they aren't the latest train in Amtrak. Uh, just so you know, Milky, all of the Coast Starlights are on time. Uh, oh, good. <laughs> the latest good train in Amtrak. Day is the California Zephyr, westbound. Ah, uh, damn. Currently, having departed Granby, heading towards Glen- Glenwood Springs, at 8 hours and 25 minutes late. Ooh. Ooh. There have been some real tough times on yeah. the California Zephyr, and they haven't quite recovered from that. They had a couple trains that had to turn back early because of various reasons. They had one that was extraordinarily late. Uh, like a... Like, 15 hours or something like that. Uh, and yeah, they the whole... The system hasn't recovered. I think it's been poor weather out there a lot as well. We talked about the flooding. So, generally, the the Sunset, the Southwest Chief, and the Zephyr are all having really hard times. As is the Texas Eagle, and as is the City of New Orleans, which is currently experiencing a service disruption. So, anyway, that's the latest train on Amtrak. Uh... And now it's time to terminate. So, starting us off is Israel. What do you have to say with zero points? Because nobody got any points this time, even though maybe hey. somebody might have deserved it. Not mm, any names, Milky. Dunking. Uh, um, if you see a veteran, thank them. It's the 75th anniversary of D-Day. Yeah, hell yeah. Um... TBA or Abby? Oh, that's just... It's linked. Uh, work in progress of my latest commission. Ooh, that's very nice. That's like that's like the very rough sketch. That's She's still working on the line art, but... That I has... In the left, there will be a bird. Oh, yeah, that bird is, is my bird. <laughs> very adorable. Even as a sketch. <laughs> and then... Yeah. You can see... Jasmine and Avi. Rare. 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 Uh, and I would like to say 
on air right now. Congratulations to Chris Camera Shaker Homan for graduating high school. I'm going to be attending his graduation in a couple of days. Ooh. Uh, congratulations, Chris. Congrats, dude. Congratulations. Yeah. Congrats. Mason also Shut graduated. Up, Mason also graduated high school. Uh, but I'm not going to his graduation. So. I'm not going to congratulate him. I wasn't invited to his, so, you know. Just show up unannounced. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to crash this just, thing. No, you right, just Milky? walk. No, you just walk in. Mason Parsons. Big concrete. Big concrete. Big concrete. <laughs> yeah. Um, Georgetown Noop has got their number twelve back. Their adorable little prairie engine. Hey, we stopped right, by Jader. Okay, so just before we started this, uh, the pain, or, yeah, pain train posted this. He's good at shit posting. Oh no! Oh boy! I'm just gonna leave you at that. Okay. I haven't watched it all the way through yet. All right. Well. We hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Terminus Podcast. We come in at almost exactly two and a half hours. That was really good. Uh, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.